Hello and welcome back to the stream where today we are going to be playing Genshin Impact. Now, I am playing Genshin again just because I want to get to a certain part of the Archon quest before I do anything else. Um, and that certain part, I am honestly actually kind of terrified about because it is very difficult. But I guess we're going to see how far I get in this. Give me one second. Quite terrified of this part that's coming up, and I have a feeling those who know Genshin know the scene that I'm talking about, because it happens very close to where I'm at right now. Um, because I don't have much time in between work and streaming, um, I wasn't able to do anything, so I'm just where I ended the stream last time, at the statute or whatever that is um now this one says to go to the front desk of the adventurers guild in mondstadt but this is for the hangout with benny which we will do later for now um we were gonna save uh break this master matsukatsu masakatsu however you say his name we were gonna break him out of jail and I, th I think we're going to break him out for some reason because he uh, helped make counterfeit visions, uh, which basically stalled the uh, shogunate from the shogunate, uh, these guards here, from taking the original visions from them. So without the counterfeit visions, it's not that useful. Now, I need to go behind here. Uh, give me one second. Is the sound on? Yes, it is. Alright. Last time, we did do a bit of exploring. Are you going to get mad at me if I actually go over here, or do I have to? No? Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, don't mind me just sneaking in. Okay. They, they literally don't care. Secret passageway, I guess. Now, I remember a little bit of what happens, but I don't remember all of it. Because this Archon quest is a little longer. How big is this place? Come on, this it's way. under a police station. Unless we stay quiet, we've got a good chance. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. Stay quiet. You're literally a girl that's that like loves fireworks. We should split up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. Fireworks? I'll be right back. It's fireworks. Uh, you sure? All right then. Just be careful not to get caught. I think this Master Masakatsu is going to help us somehow get closer to the shogun. But I'm not sure why we need to save him. It's just something Ayaka told us to do and we're doing it just because we need to get to the Shogun to, you know, continue our journey. Yes, as Aether uh, said. Too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be fighting a lot of these guys. Like, you know, up there probably too. Or over here. You know, you guys aren't as much of a threat as something else that's coming up. Is there any chests? I don't see any. Now, I know there could be traps here. I think Magakama are just like those spindly thingies. Uh, kind of like this design, but you know, a single version of that. Please don't. Nice and spi don't! Good. Oh, so sorry. Don't hold back. Be gone. Yeah, there's also, like, traps in the walls that will occasionally shoot. I don't know where it was. Right there. That's where it is. 
You go in front of it and it shoots at you. Or maybe it just happens randomly. Whatever. Electro things come out of here. They damage you for like a split second. It's strange, but it's a cool trap. Just to get some damage in the player. Um, there's still no chess here. I'm very upset about that. What is this? I don't know. But everything in Inazuma resembles an eye, which is like really creepy. No! God dang it. Everything in Inazuma resembles an eye, and it's it's creepy, but it makes sense. It's like signified as like the eye of the Shogun or something. No one. Yeah, like those. Um, that board as well. There's many traps in here, along with that. Well, I don't really get, care if I get hit by these. It doesn't do that much damage. Hmm, I wonder what the trick is. <laughs> How could you say that? Just because they're glowing? Wait, where did Gooba go? Where did Gooba go? Thanks for the help, Gooba. I really appreciate that. Oh, he went flying. Oh, chest! Yeah, you guys still aren't much of a threat, even if you are the bigger guys. So long as you don't heal yourself, because I know something similar to you can heal themselves. Stop it! Stop it! Stay still so I can kill you! Thank you. Train harder. Chess! Thank you. Um, any more? Don't think so. Dang it. Man, where are these chests? That was the first time I got an electricity sigil? Huh. Apparently it was. Whatever. Like this. Hmm. I don't think so. I think it's just a very big coincidence. Also, there's these floors. Um, if it's spotting like this, then it means it's going to electrify like that. You touch it, you get electrified. I'll just show you. It slowly takes damage. Although it doesn't take that much damage, so eh, it doesn't matter that much. But this twirly thing is really cool, that how it just like twirls around you. I like that. Just the simple designs are really cool. Where's that door? Not the door that I was looking for. This is. I am going to close this. So you guys do not get powerful. Please don't. Oh, okay. Just barely avoided that. Leave it all to me. Freeze. Watch your step. You guys are a lot tankier, but you're not necessarily harder to beat. It just takes a little more time. Now, the other character I have to beat, on the other hand, is going to be quite terrifying. I'm going to keep mentioning that because you'll see. I know I'm give kind of giving... Why is it he just he alone? I'm kind of giving major hints to what I'm gonna be fighting, but it's still very terrifying. Is there any more chess? I don't think so. Love the detail on all this, though. Is there gonna be a floorboard or something? Or is it just you? Kinda lame that you're alone. Bah. No, no, it me. There we go. Whoo, okay. Barely avoided that. 
And there's the last. I wonder what Yoi Mia is doing actually. Wait. Yeah, Yoi Mia. Uh, no, thank you. Where's the thingy? Oh, I guess there's no thingy. One cool thing about these things that power them up is that you can, um, you can do elemental reactions with them much easier. Ooh, trippy. Now where's my chest? There's my chest! Um... What's over here? More swords? It's not useful. Anything back there? No. Um... What's over here? Nothing. What about here? Ooh! More chess! I'll always take more chess. Speaking of, actually. And I don't have enough. Okay. Just checking. I don't know why I even check since I literally haven't gone in the game since last stream. Creepy. You talking that isn't Master Masakatsu. us hiding. On the Did on you the floor? Really think that little trick of yours could fool us? <laughs> Locking you up was just the beginning. What are you gonna kill him? No. Oh no! Those Tenryoku Where do you come from? Him. If we don't come up with a way to break him out fast, then. We can only grit our teeth for now. We need to ensure a means of escape first. Uh, or else we'd be trapped. Watch. If anything happens to Master Masakatsu, our whole plan will have been for nothing. Hey, then you there. Don't what are you doing? Watch. Oh, Ma'am. Hi, we Sarah. Sarah. All. Whatever. Uh, who's that? Hi. That's Kujo Sara. Sara. Adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. What's she doing here? She is also the Shogun's... I think she's like the Shogun's... General? Because... If you go back to the stream where Kazaha explained how his friend died and how he has a masterless vision, you saw that you could have seen that um, Sara was right next to A when Kazuha's friend died. So, yeah, that's kind of creepy. I think, yeah, Kazuha did mention her before. I didn't even see this option. Make way. Let me have a look at him. Yeah, don't notice the sparkles, please. I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. I'm glad. I, yes, ma'am. I actually li kind of like Sara. If you are of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Ooh! Y y yes ma'am. It won't happen again. Thanks, Sara. I am sure wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Uh. Hey, this is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Shut! Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? Really? Oh. Quick, go and investigate. No! Yes, ma'am. Yoimiya, why? Quick, hide! Where? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, uh, what do we do? Don't worry, I've got us covered. Time for my little present. Fireworks? In a building? Made of wood? Oh, thank God, it's away from us. It's at that one place where we unlocked the door. Huh? Was that an explosion? Fireworks. It, it sounded like fireworks. Quick, Can you tell fire. the difference between an explosion and fireworks? If you can't see it, that is. Oh, the fireworks were enough to distract Not them. Sarah. Well, maybe more than enough. Not Sarah! <laughs> fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. Nice. 
I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to Shush Or not. Oh even they're cowering. Oh those poor guys. <laughs> Scared of fireworks. Fireworks are my craft, after all. Every batch has to be spectacular. Yeah, clearly. I'm I'm beginning to think this wasn't only intended as an as a distraction. Look, the coast is clear. Now's our chance. Yeah, where did Zara go? Oh, you guys aren't that bright right now. Well, is there any chest? Is this the way I came? I think, I think this, yeah, I think this is the way I came. Okay, so I guess there's no chest. All right, Master Matsukasu, this is a trick. Oh no. Yoimiya, is that you? Clearly. Master Masakatsu! Sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. How much did they torture you? We have no time to lose. They could be back any minute. Yeah, and Zara too. Ah! Oh. Yep. You were watching us this whole time, weren't you? Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. See, I mean, I like Zara, but this isn't the only reason I like her. She's actually kind of nice. Once you get to know her. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate Also, I like her attention. mask. But remember, kind of reminds me of a plague doctor's mask, and those masks are, like, really cool. Once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Thank you! Uh, well, she also has an electrovision. You can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. Thank you. <laughs> Leave this place. You're amazing! How tall are you exactly, Sara? Oh, thanks for the chest! I was like, guard's gun? Whatever. Aren't we gonna get caught leaving the police station? <sighs> no? Really out of that creepy place. You better leave yes. the Why police station before you there? get caught? Master Masakatsu, how do you feel? Unless that's not how it works. Don't worry. I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over. Are you sure about that? Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to get treated. I'll treat you to a round of drinks once this is all over. Ayako, why worry, did we need Nana. to save him again? Care of Don't remember. <sighs> Good thing we were able to rescue him. Oh, thanks to Sara, actually. But, Kotosara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? Probably. It seems as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Uh, though Paimo would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. It's not their actions well, directly, it's the Shogun's the actions. The good news. What mission is she gonna send us on now? I am doing her dirty work just so... Just so... I can get to the Shogun, find my brother, find answers about the unknown god, and continue my journey! <sighs> Ayaka, why do you do this? I mean, yeah, I feel bad for the people in Inazuma, but still! Hi, Toma. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would I like those little horns. Her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt Decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, yep. Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the Decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. Clearly. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act you against know, us. No, I may not like you, but you're thought. actually very smart, Ayako. Though, if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. 
<laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. Thanks, but I'm just trying to reach the Shogun, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> that face says, do mention it. turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. Like what? To ready our next set of plans. What plans? There is no need to rush, my lady. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, I like how your friends and you, you still have to be call growing. her my lady. Uh, yes, it's adorable. which reminds me, the Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And oh, I remember that. Enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. Uh, a ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? Well... I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> yeah. With the Tenryo Commission uh. busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Uh-huh. Hmm. You do present a good point. Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period Honestly? of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? I'd the say game? a celebratory feast is in order. Yep. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. It is actually amusing. What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. <laughs> Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Can I eat frogs? Begins, we add all the ingredients it's technically together. an ingredient, it's just not a food ingredient. To close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. Don't you think it sounds like fun? As in Goba? I've been wanting to give it a try. I have in Goba fact, in my I've arsenal. My ingredients prepared. You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? Crystal fly. Let's, mm, well, if they guess, say, like, if it's Toma guessing my ingredient and he guesses that it is my ingredient and he's right about that. Then he would get to go again, and he might get points. But let's be Team Daredevil. Ooh, Paimon proposes we gather raging demon-level Joyun chilies, super salty ham, mist flower corollas. Don't say that in front of them. Already shaping up to be a hot pot to remember. That actually sounds kind of disgusting altogether, but oh, my stomach! It feels like Yoimiya's fireworks are going off inside me. Who would have guessed that Toma would be the winner? Really? He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. Uh, Toma? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Salt-crusted herring, unripe lavender melon, flash boiled donkey. No! <laughs> whatever that thing was that nearly froze my tongue off. Oh no, Toma! My life is starting to flash before no! my eyes. It's time I call it a night, everyone. We are killing Toma! <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame, Toma. That is true. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. What? I thought those were the ones we added. added those little cakes I had there? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> the traveler ended up eating one. Boiling cakes in hot pot. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Yeah, clearly oh, you know oh, nothing about food. I'm definitely not okay. Oh, I need to lie down. Oh no. So he's killing himself or <sighs> we killed him? I feel like a new man. You know, Toma, <laughs> all you had to do is guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. Don't look at me like that, <laughs> Lumine. I uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps I literally I have Gooba. Carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. Your own game? I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's hot pot challenge is me. You? Yeah. Oh, brother. Oh man. Oh, good effort.
effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. Uh, yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. Yeah, Can welcome for time? sure. There are some other matters I wish to attend to. Do they Let's involve me? Much needed time off. After a few days rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. Uh-huh. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> Gonna be a tea club? Sure, right, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. And he's just gonna win again. Wait, does that he mean he guessed his own ingredients and that's how we won? Cheater! Like, what exactly? So is Sarah gonna hunt us down as well? Or is she just gonna hunt the old man down? Or what's going on? Oh, I did get something. Something very important. Uh, there is... What is this? Whispers of Crane and the White Rabbit. Um... Meet up with her at the Chak More Tea House. I think that's Ayaka's story quest. And this is... Yoimiya's story quest, and I think we actually have to do them before we get- yep. We have to do their story quest before we can do the rest of the quest, that's not fair! Whatever. There is this, which is technically an event, but it's not. Um... I'm not sure how to say this, but it's the net that allows us to catch animals, but we should be able to unlock that, and then I'll do the other quest. Mm. No! Go from here. What's the plan? Not the cutscene! Traveler, Paimon, hold on. That's her story quest, I think. Huh? Ayaka? What's the matter? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. Oh, really? But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. And you said and this time was for relaxation? Personal stuff? That's what that means, Paimon. Concerns my mother. Yep, it's her story quest. I want to do this later! Seem a little sudden. But in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. Can you give me any more details? A few days ago... I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently Ooh, I remember it makes this. it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? You've really never heard the name before? Not once? Never. I mean, I know you were a kid when your parents died, but... Many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So, I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. I love this that name. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality. Does the name like Tsubaki have, have a special significance? Name Tsubaki is primarily a female name of Japanese origin that means camellia flower. Oh, that's actually really cute. What's a camellia flower? Oh, they're so pretty. Oh. So Tsubaki means camellia flower and this is what a camellia flower is well at least one of these they're so pretty i like these 
Oh, I really like those. He goes, let me get the net first. Stop being so impatient, Ayaka. Kinda thinks it sounds like a girl thing. D That's what I thought Durr. too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address We're is We're excellent given finders. Notebook. We've been doing it for we a while now. Straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. And how do we do that? What stuff Please do you want? Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. Okay, who else would I tell? The proper course of action would be The only other person I know is Toma Twitter. and the people in Rito. He is terribly busy at present and on a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Hence why you came to me, an Outlander. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Ah, uh, yeah, not cherry on the top to butter me up. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. Yeah, you've done greeting gifts before, and it was a sugar-frosted slime that I'm not even sure Ning Wong liked. Well, maybe it's the thought that matters? I don't know people that well. Wonderful! In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around. What should we mind, make for Subaki? Is that her name, Subaki? No, I guess not. Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? No! Agura textiles and kimonos. Let me get the net stop. first. Alright, sounds great. Please? Thank you. Let me get the nest net first. Please. Thank you. Take care. Now I think she's wait, is she down here? Oh, she is down wait a minute. Did she move? She was down here before. Maybe it's like the start of the class. I don't know. Talk to Sango. Who's Sango? Where is that in here? No. Yeah. Oh. Really hope I didn't just hit the cat there. Hi, Sango. Uh, thou welcome her. I shouldn't have let her know about Hagurumaru. What's wrong? What is with these Japanese names? That's what's wrong. Oh, hello there, Traveler. Do you remember the ubiquity net by any chance? Yes and no. After we settled the previous incident, I explained all that happened to a friend of mine. I think this was like an event before the... Before the net came out. Her name is that. And she's. Well she calls herself a designer. Okay so we're just going to call her the designer. For now. She was quite inspired. By the manner in which. You use the net. To capture animals. So she's been badgering me. This whole time to help. Her look up new techniques which she can use to mod which she can continue modifying the modify the net I couldn't deal with all that nagging so I did find her something new in that ancient collection of mine if the fancy takes you traveler go to her place if I don't miss my guess she's probably finished her modifications by now okay I think I need to use like a hundred of these nets to get an achievement. Uh, so it's another progressive achievement. Hi, the designer. Well, that should certainly do it. Hi, are you the designer? That's me, what do you need? Well, I'm here about the net. Oh, are you? Oh, I remember you now. You must be the traveler. Sango told me about you. Funny how I don't even know Sango, but sure. The way in which you operated that net was truly impressive. I have never touched it on this world before, but sure. Inspiring, in fact. 
Where'd you even modify it? Hey, that's right. <laughs> Sango dung up an all new technique for me and all. I use that technique to modify the net once again, and I call this model uh, the OU net. Maybe I should just call it the OU net. According to Sango, this technique is able to detain the essence of living creatures before using certain objects as media to recreate the shape of that living being. So, it just recreates the shape of them, it's not them specifically? She even says that the utmost achievement of such a technique is used to recreate a human essence? Such es essences can answer questions and will nev never lie? I must say that the technique would be unbelievable help to a detective like Sango. You know what? I actually think that's why she told me about the technique and allowed me to make changes to the net. So she could capture people with the net? Uh-uh. But not going around telling anyone that. I'm only telling you this because you and Sango are friends, right? Uh... Were your modifications successful? Um, not yet. No matter how I modify it, Wait, is there like a follow-up quest? Will there be a follow-up quest? Like, later in the game? I mean, I know the follow-up quest hasn't appeared later, but maybe the net gets even more improved in the future? I don't know. No matter how I modify it, this net can only be used to create the essences of small creatures. That makes sense. No effect on human whatsoever. Well, that would be creepy anyways. You know what, Traveler? Take this net with you. Or, what, five? Who knows? Seeing you in action might give me some inspiration again. Here, take it with you. And remember, it's the OU net now, not just the U net. Uh, sure. Go on, then. Go catch a few little animals to test it out. Okay. Use the net to capture and detain the essence of small animals in the open world. Afterward, you may use the net as a medium to recreate their forms. Animals so recreated may be placed inside your serenity teapot. Unfortunately, her modifications to the OU net still have some room for improvement, and there are some little critters who cannot be recreated using the net. Which is, um, like the dogs and cats and stuff, which you can buy. But if you go into the animal archive, which I'll show you in a second, um, if you can capture the animal, then it'll have this, like, little net icon around it, which is really cool. Animals that can be captured using that will be marked out with this net symbol in the archive, as I mentioned. I didn't even read that. Um, let's see. Archive? Love that. Beings. As you can see, you can't catch creatures, which you know, would be creepy. Uh, how am I still not unlock all of this? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Then there is pets, and as you can see, I can unlock some birds, but I can't do the ducks. Um, where were you? Strange little thing. Oh, god dang it, I wish I could catch these. These creatures are in Sumeru. And they are so cool. But as you can see, like, you can't catch the dogs. And, oh, I thought you could, like, spin around, maybe. Yes, you can. You can spin the animal around and also research it. Which is really cool. Um, you can't catch tanukis or rishbull and tigers, which sucks because they're the coolest creatures. You also can't catch fish, but you can. There's an event where you can, well, you could fish up fish, and there, there's a chance whenever you fish. 
um, there is a chance that it could be like a treasured fish or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. Um, and then you could store that fish in your teapot with a specific item that's kind of like a mini pool just for the fish, which is really cool. Um, and you can't fish in every single area. There's only like specific areas around the map that you can fish, uh, with your fishing rod. And you can only do it like up to maybe like seven or eight times because there's like seven or eight fish per her like fishing area um but the fish do respawn like every few days i think like like the other mobs basically um oh maybe she only gave us one now after this uh can i actually buy it now go and then catch a few little animals to test it out okay well she's gonna have us test it out but um, after this, we'll be able to buy five from her each week, I think. Um, but they're super expensive. So then, uh, yeah. no elemental skill? Oh. Okay, so I have to hold the elemental skill. That's strange. I'm gonna catch you, little guy. You're coming with me. Or... Or not. I... Sure. Patience, child. What? What the heck are you doing? Okay, that's actually really cool. Boop! Woo! And now, as you can see on the left side of my screen, I can place that in my teapot. How did it go? Well? One and done. Can you give me more? Hmm. I suppose that was inevitable. Like I said before, this technique can detain the essence of small of a small animal, but if you want to retain that essence and recreate that animal, you will need to you will need a separate medium, like a teapot. I integrated those techniques into the net, uh, such that it is also the essence retention device and the reaction medium. Stop! Stop! Stop talking in big words. It's a Friday, please. I beg of you. Have mercy on my soul. Sounds complicated. Well, basically, each net can only be used once. This is an issue that I haven't been able to solve yet either. That would be broken if you could use it multiple times. If the medium can't be... Can't stand repeated use, the cost of this device will be way too high. I'll continue to do my research into this net and try to fix the problem as soon as possible. If you still need the OU nets, come and find me. And, uh, even though these nets can catch small animals, they're a bit of a fuss to put together. So next time you want one of these nets, you'll have to pay me a nominal fee. Yeah, is it like 50000 per net or something? Relax, your song goes friend. I won't charge you too much. You'll get a good rate, I promise. Yeah, let's see what that rate is. Talk to Sango, okay. Hello there, need more OE nets, do you? Uh, sure. 10,000, that's still hella expensive. Yeah, 50,000 for five nets. And it refreshes every week. Just like, um, bounties and that kind of thing to level up your, um... To revel level up your reputation level in all the cities. How they reset every, every week. Oh, did I hit another cat? I hope I didn't. It sounded like it. Oh no! Kitty, I'm sorry I didn't see you! Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
Sango will investigate anything on your behalf. Missing persons, missing pets, commercial investigation, commercial commissions, procurement services, delivery services, we do it all. I thought you were a detective. At commercial services. Uh, did you find the designer? So here's the deal with the OU net. Oh, unit? You know what? It's not a bad name. Still, that technique. Can that technique really detain a human essence? Uh, no. That's not possible. God dang it! There's only records of such a technique existing. Any practicum has long disappeared, disappeared into the mist of time. The technique that I taught her can only do that for small animals. Why didn't you tell her? Oh, that? I just wanted her to help me spread a certain something out. Really? You're using her as well? Man, Genshin is just full of people who want to use other people. Batandango Detective Agency's president is currently asking someone to create a net using... That? That can make people tell the truth? Okay, so you are using it. The long lost... Kamuna something? The Batan Sango Detective Agency in the net that can indeed detain the essence of small creatures. Put all three together and you have an urban legend that sounds imp that both sounds impressive and actually has a grain of truth to it. For most people, the urban legend are just stories, but for criminals who already have the seed of fear in their hands, such tales are not so simple. Okay, so you're basically, like, spreading rumors about things... threatening... criminals? So they get more scared? The other side of it is, well, she was starting to get on my nerves with the whole find me the strongest technique ever nonsense. I told her many times that such things don't exist, but she wouldn't listen. So I had no choice to give her something to work with so she'd get off my back. What if she doesn't tell anyone about this? Impossible. What? Why did you say it like that? Uh, she couldn't keep a secret to save her life. Trust me, I know her way too well. Either way, thanks for making a trip on my behalf. Take this. Consider it a payment for the errand run. Suprema Gems! Archon, I hope she doesn't come to bother me again. I'm a detective, you know? Not some... Whatever that is. You literally said you do almost everything. Dang it. Well, I'm gonna go catch a few- I got 15! Oh, I already had that equipped. Oops. I am going to catch a few small creatures. Not a lot. I wonder. I don't remember what things I can catch and what I can't catch. So... I am going to go over here really quickly. Yeah, don't mind me bursting in. I'm totally gonna do your things. I'm, I totally haven't left Rito at all, old man. I promise. Definitely not. Just curious. I know I can't catch lizards or like... Um... What was it? Lizards or butterflies or anything like that, but... Can I catch you guys? Oh, I can! I'm gonna only catch one of you. I didn't know that. Well, that's cool. Um... Now, I know there's this over here. I'm not going to be able to place them all in my teapot since I don't have much in my teapot. Oh, god dang it. Yay! 
actually get an achievement for that, which is really cool. You guys didn't fly away from me doing that? That's weird. Oh, there we go. It just wasn't close enough to them. You guys are just gonna disappear, aren't you? No, I can't get you! Dang it. Man. See, like, even doing that, like, when you don't catch an animal and it still poofs, I don't think it destroys the net. Like, just doing that, I don't think it destroys it. Um, what else can I catch? I know there's some birds over here that I can catch. I know I can't catch the ducks. Um, where are the electro crystal flies, actually? Obviously, they're in Inazuma, but... God dang it! Stop unequipping it! There we go. Got a few achievements for that. So, there was that little finch, and then there's also birds on the bridge. So, I think these- yeah, these over here are just normal finches, and I caught you guys. Eh! There we go. Really? I- I caught you! That's not fair. Can I catch them all? Please don't notice me. Dang it! Too far. Um... I know I can go over here. That's gonna be too far, isn't it? Dang it! Oh, maybe I can't capture them. Try not to get too close to the crystal flies, because if you get too close, they just fly away. There we go. Where's the other one? Why does the animal crystal fly look like a cryo crystal fly? That's weird. How many crystal flies did I catch, actually? Okay, I ta caught two geo crystal flies, so let me catch, like, two electro crystal flies, if I can find them. Is there anything else I can catch? Um, I don't know if I can catch a boar. I definitely can't catch ducks or, like, these kind of fish. These kind of fish are different than the other fish that I mentioned earlier. If you go down here, please don't run away, boar. Damn it. Can I catch you? I mean, I know it said I couldn't catch you, but I'm gonna try anyways. Don't flap away! I wasn't even close to you! God dang it! No, okay. Just checking. Um, I know there's something over here where I can feed the foxes. I wonder if the foxes are over here. I know there's a lot of creatures that I can find. I love the dragon spine music, by the way. It's definitely different. Obviously can't catch hilly turtles. No, they're not here yet. Because I haven't fed them at all. Dang it. Can I feed them now? I can't feed them now? Do I really have to do the dragon spine quest just to feed the foxes? What BS? Not gonna look like that. Ooh, cryo. Windblade. Oh god dang it! Don't fly away, please! <laughs> yes! Woo! Cryo crystal flies. And then... 
Where are the electro crystal flies? I think there's some over here. But there is a cooldown, so I'm worried about if they're gonna fly away. Um, is there anything else I can catch that's not a fox? And, you know, not an abyss mage either? Yeah, because I think they're over there. Right? No, I see one. There we go. I need one more. Steady as stone. Stop. Um What else can I get? Huh. Can I get the special birds from Sumeru? Maybe. Cuz I know there was the animals that I wanted that I can't catch in Sumeru. There is something over here. This is the entrance to where you're supposed to enter Inazuma. Er, Inazuma. Sumeru? Um. And I teleported over here instead of the actual Statue of the Seven just because I knew that the net wasn't going to be equipped and the birds might fly away. So I'm just being cautious. Plus, I actually want to check if there's any more animals I can catch. Not gonna follow you, Seely. Sumeru is so planty! I mean, it's literally the nation of plants, but still! I expected more flowers, even though... Technically, Kusanali isn't the goddess of flowers. There's a different goddess that is a goddess of flowers. Oh god dang it, I forgot about the dendro! Thingies! Crystal flies. Please don't disappear. Yes! Woo! I forgot they existed. I don't know why. I'm not gonna go to you guys, because I actually don't know if you guys are gonna start quests or not. There's a frog. I definitely can't catch that. Uh, there's also these things, which are like the things in, uh, in Izuma, which is really cool. What the heck? Where are they? I thought they were over here. Guess not. Um. I still need one more dendro crystal fly. Where's a dendro crystal fly? Um Is there any over here? There's you guys. Two cans like things. Okay, I know it's supposed to be creepy because of that, and I'll get to that when I get to Subaru, but it's- the music is still really creepy. I thought there was gonna be crystal flies here. I want one more, at least. Dendro... Crystal... Fly. Um, okay. I think I know where that is. Man, this grass is, like, really bright. Holy crap. Well, you see that? That's part of the desert, which we will get to later. Eventually. Someone was taking damage. Um, here? 
Yes. How many do I have left? One. Okay, well... Ooh, those were really pretty, actually. I don't know what those were. There's a wrist roll on Tiger. Oh, no, that's actually part of a quest. That lady's gonna get attacked. I actually didn't know I could start that quest before I did the Archon quest, but apparently I can, and I'm not gonna go into that. I'm not gonna help that lady, because that quest is long. I need one more. I know I can't catch you doggies, but I'm gonna try anyways. Please don't drag me into the quest. No, I can't even catch you since you have a name. There's one more creature that I need to catch. Want to catch, I guess. Hmm. Let me just catch another fox, I guess. And then I'll go to the teapot, show those off. As much as I can, at least. And then... Um, we'll continue with the story quests, regretfully. I'm so mad that it forces you to do the story quests. There you are. I'm sorry, Lady I, but I'm taking your friends. Um. Alright. Here is the teleport waypoint right here. Is also the traveling salesman, but I don't care about him right now. Maybe I'll get to him later, maybe I won't. I don't know. But I am gonna collect what you have. Maybe you're yada yada yada, yada. you're a lot like Catherine. Um so basically what I explained before, I need to create a lot of things and like place them down. For, um, for this Adeptal Energy to raise up, and then I can get more coins and more Realm Bounties. Um, and it's also quicker. And then I can also place more companions, such as these two, if you ever have and more animals as well, which is really cool. But for now, if I can't place any animals, I'm just gonna get rid of Kaya and... Paimon, just to show. Uh, yeah, okay, so there are like a hundred. Oh, maybe I can place them out. One. That one. That one. See, this is a cryo crystal fly, I think. What is this? Yeah, this is a cryo crystal fly. But the animal crystal fly is actually brighter than the cryo crystal fly, which is weird. Because this is the animal, this is the cryo. The cryo looks like hydro, the animal looks like cryo. That's... It's weird. I didn't know I could place these down, actually. Thought it would have been too much space. And then there's the kitties. Please don't go after the crystal flies, kitty. How many can I place down? Wait a minute. And actually, I know a little... I don't want to say hack, because it's not a hack, but... I know a little trick to, um... If you don't want anything in your realm, but you want as much XP as possible, then, um... I actually have a fun little trick for that, which I will show in a moment. Reach the limit, okay. It's a flies! It's so pretty! Oh, and you can like push them around, and they're not scared of you at all. Unless you hit them, maybe. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> are they gonna appear again? Why are you over here, kitties? Yes, they do appear again. Okay. Um, but actually... Maybe you're... As you saw before, um... I don't know how you can get all of these. I think you can get this one from a quest. This one from a quest. And these two from, like... Um... Well, it says trust drink, but I don't know what that means. Um, but basically, if you put every th as much things as you can, like, in this one, and then you go back to a different realm, it'll still have the same, um, it'll still have the same XP points. So then, if you ever this realm that you're currently in won't be cluttered. Maybe you're... Well, this one would technically still be cluttered, but, you know, if you wouldn't be using this one, then it's basically, like, free storage, free XP. It's it's really cool. Hi, Crystal Fly. <gasps> you guys are really cute up close. I feel bad for taking, like, hundreds of you. <gasps> oh, it's like a little Crystal Fly with horns. That's so cute. <gasps> oh, these things are adorable up close. <gasps> oh, they have horns. Aww. Okay, why are these actually really cute? <laughs> Kitties, what are you doing? I put you over here. I put you over here. I put you guys over here. Whatever. Fine. Kaya, what do you think about all these crystal flies? Well, hello. I didn't expect it. Would you like to have a chat with me? You've come to the right person. Oh! Speak your mind. I'm more than happy to keep you company. Thank you. Hmm, though it's too bad we don't have anything to wet our whistles with. The what? Oh, you meant drinking! <laughs> Why do you like to drink so much, Kaya? Well, largely because I like the taste. Uh huh. But I can't deny that I also like how it makes me feel. <laughs> oh. So what you mean is you drink to numb the pain? Oh, that's just depressing. Goodness, look at you, leaping to conclusions. Do I look like I've been through that much? Yes. I'm yes, you do. With my life right now. You literally got your vision in a duel to the death with your brother. Even though, like, neither of you died... You still despise each other now. I have to say, though, that chatting with you is quite intoxicating. Oh? Actually, in much the same way that drinking is. So, I suppose, I'm just greedy and want to enjoy both of these pleasures at the same time. So you want to drink and talk with me? I ain't talking to a drunk man. I don't know how to deal with drunk people. They're like adult toddlers. So, all in all, I'm just another layer in your cocktail of pleasure? Oh! Lumine! <laughs> you are not making this better! <laughs> what an interesting metaphor. I hadn't looked at it from that angle. Oh! <gasps> Let me um, think. Hmm. Your analogy seems largely correct. Save for one small detail. You, of course, are the main ingredient in said cocktail. Does that mean- that- is that good? If it had cocktails before, because, you know, I'm not old enough. Well, thank you, Paimon. Travelers, you're here! You're gonna, not gonna make flirtatious comments, Anything are you? Interesting you wanna talk about today? Uh, guess not. Morning! Our joyful old Paimon's ready to go any time! Aw, that's adorable. I don't think Paimon actually unlocks any new dialogue, but the more you level up Kaya, with friendship XP, um... I think the more dialogue that gets unlocked... As crazy as Kaya is, I love him so much! <laughs> um, but back to Inazuma, where we will be continuing...
Ayaka story quest where she wanted to um, get gifts for her mom's friend that her mom wrote about in a diary and their parents are actually dead but um, and then the first one we are getting is a kimono now I mentioned this before but I so badly want a skin for the traveler because like so many characters have gotten skins now and it's not fair that the Traveler and the Archons haven't, because they're the coolest. Um, the character outfits. Uh, Deluxe, which I... The only thing I bought on my main account is Deluxe skin, because I like Deluxe so much. And I, I, Ayaka skin, uh, Kitchings, Jean, Lisa, Fischl, Ningguang, and Barbara. And then, um, there's also these things. Don't start singing. Genesis crystals. And you actually have to buy Genesis crystals. Um, which is regrettable. Because it's honestly not that worth it, in my opinion. Like, um, if, for, like, five dollars, it's not even enough for a ten pole. That's kind of a waste of money, in my opinion, but it's just my opinion. Wait a minute. I have nine? Since when? Excuse me? When did I get nine? I thought I had seven. Excuse me, what? That's not normal. Did I get that from a quest or something? Am I gonna get- I'm gonna get Prima Gems from that, but it's still not enough. I wanna do a 10 pull, but... <laughs> I'll probably wait a little bit. Uh, where do I need to go? Over here. Hmm? This must be... It's a festival promotion! Oh? Speaking of, we haven't been anywhere fun since we arrived in Inazuma. Yeah, we've literally been saving people's lives. Did you want to go, Ayaka? N no, what made you think that? <clears throat> I assume since Festivals you're a fancy a girl, you've never been before. We in the Yashiro Commission are very well acquainted with these sorts of customs. Oh? Each season well, I guess that makes sense. Own festival, and each festival, in turn brings a fresh challenge to the task of maintaining public order. So, while festivals are undoubtedly joyous and lively occasions, for us, they are also a cause for concern. Concern? Oh, my apologies. I should stop thinking about work. This is hardly relevant to the matter at hand. This store here is the place I wanted to visit. Yeah, well, clearly it's a lot about kimonos. Oh, so you weren't checking out the promotion? <laughs> I think she was checking out the promotion. The styles. Please take a look. Oh, it's Miss Kamisato. With is she really that popular? Series. Welcome to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. Are you here to purchase fabric or Ogura. garments? Oh, greetings to you too. I have a design here for a garment. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Oh. Ayaka gained the bear. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. This could be. Mm hmm. It could be. Oh, it's a very fine design. Miss Kamisato, you'd like us to make a kimono following this design, yes? Please, if you could. I'm honored that you'd choose Olgra textiles and kimonos for your tailoring needs. However, there is one rather difficult problem. And that is? Based on the design, this kind of kimono would require silk made from the silk. Really? Line. The majority of Inazuma's silk is imported from Liyue Harbor, but given the current climate... 
and the current situations in Inazuma. Yeah. In all honesty, the impact on the textiles industry has been quite significant. We're struggling to import high-grade fabrics. So much of our tailoring business has been put on hold indefinitely. But of course, where our customers are able to provide the fabric themselves, we can, can still you not service. make them yourselves? So you're saying we need to go and buy some silk first. <laughs> My mind gets it. Textiles and kimonos can't get a hold of high grade fabric. Where would we buy it from? Is this like the only kimono shop out there? They are a little better connected than we are. After all, the association brings together merchants from all over the world. Clearly. The only thing is their prices. They're not the cheapest. In times Would that really be a problem for someone like Ayaka? option of getting a hold of the things we want in the first place. So even just getting clothes made is an ordeal in Inazuma. Obviously. Wait, the International Trade Association? That's Karisu's thing, right? We haven't been to retail in a while. Actually, it was only a few streams ago, but it looks like sure. that will be our next stop. Thank you ever so much. We will be back. Once Why we is back. her vision tilted? Oh, that bugs me so time. much. I have one other very small request. Could you? What is that? Why are you whispering? Are you talking about me? Why is she being so secretive all of a sudden? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Much obliged. My pleasure, Miss Kanizato. Honestly, I'm just as excited as you to see the end product. We haven't made a silk kimono for the longest time now, and this is a beautiful design. Isn't silk like super mm. expensive That's in its very own? That's kind of you. Thank you. Goodbye for now, Traveler Paimon. Let's try our luck at the International Trade Association. Also, isn't this Japan? I thought silk came from Japan. Maybe that's something else I'm thinking of. I guess not. Like a short kimono, please. I want, I want a kimono, not just for Lumine. I want an actual kimono in real life. They're cool. Not like a super long one, though. I mean, I know traditionally they're super long, but like, like a short, cute one. Ah, this is it. The international Are you from Trade Leeward? Association or Fontaine? Okay, then. We need to talk to Karisu, right? Where did Karisu huh. go? Doesn't look like he's here. Let's look around. Are you Kreisu? Yes, you are. What's happening, Kreisu? Look, look, there he is. Ah, looks like we found him. Uh, what am I gonna do? Mr. Kreisu, are you all right? Of course not. Oh, you're Miss Ayaka from the Kamisato clan. That she is. How do you do? Better than you, it appears. <laughs> uh, and if it isn't the traveler, I haven't seen you in a while. I take it you've been out of Rito? Thank God. Thanks again for your help last time. The association is back in business, and it's all thanks to you. Oh. That's great, but... Staring into space just now? Did something bad happen? Well, you see, it's embarrassing to admit, but some of the association's goods have been stolen by vagrants. You guys need guards. Didn't this happen last time? It was a batch of high-grade silk. Oh no! <sighs> really? We imported a big batch of silk from Liyue several years ago. It's been sitting in storage ever since. Of course it has. Recently, the one time I need it. The city have more or less sold I'm all the silk, silk stocks, I think. So we figured now would be a good time to bring our batch out of storage. Thinking it probably Or do you need the, the high grade silk? <sighs> but then uh, the vagrants swiped the whole batch then disappeared into the woods. I reported to the authorities, but but <sighs> well Oh, yes, right. No. They don't think much of foreign merchants like us. The Kanjo Commission don't want to give us the time of day. <sighs> Honestly, you can just tell that our suffering amuses them. 
While I also take issue with aspects of the Kanjo Commission's operational methods, please remember, Mr. Kuresu, that while you are hearing me, Mizuma, you should be careful with your words. Uh, oh, my apologies. I had to let off some steam. Ayaka, don't be mean to him. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much we can do ourselves to get our goods back. Dude needs a vent. He's been through a lot. <sighs> and he's not Perhaps from I'm Inazuma. He's from Fontaine. He wants to go I'm home. I'm afraid I can't intervene Think. in an official capacity, but I can still help you get your lost goods back. Of course, I would never. Wait, what? <laughs> he would never expect that from Ayaka. Seriously? Even even Lumina is shocked, like, we're doing what now? Yes. Acting in my own capacity, mind you. Even then, there is no escaping the fact that my every action and word will be seen to reflect on the Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. I do so not without reservation, so I hope that you will treat this matter as confidential. That aside, as I'm sure you're aware. I'm afraid that I won't always be able to help you in such circumstances. Given your position and that of the International Trade Association, please try to exercise more caution in the future. You do not want to incur further unnecessary losses. We will. We certainly will. But, um... Are you sure this isn't going to cause any issues for you? Hey? What if someone yeah. high up in the Kanjo Commission sees what you're doing and doesn't like it? You're a high Oh, they're definitely not going to like it. Surely putting your neck on the line for small timers like me can't be worth the risk. Aren't I a member of high society? I mean, yeah, I don't have social status, but I have the status status of saving saving two nations, the same nation twice, and almost saving your nation. <laughs> Very humorous. Really? Let's not forget that I am the eldest daughter of the Kami Sato clan. I would be very surprised indeed if anybody in the Kanjo Commission felt that I was accountable to them for my actions. You're the eldest daughter, yes. But you're not the eldest. It's Ayato then you. You're the... What do you mean you're the eldest daughter? You're the youngest and the only daughter. It's only you and Ayato. Nayato's older than you! Oh, and shivers down Paimon's spine! Does everyone from a powerful clan talk like that? Apparently. Mr. Kurisu, I need to know the exact time and location of the theft, and anything that stood out about the perpetrator's appearance. Are we detectives Thank now? You so much. Let's see, it was two hours ago now, over at the, um... Uh... Over where? Kurisu explains why and wherefore is a Everyone, theft case. Please follow me to the scene of the crime. The investigation starts there. All right, off we go. All right, so we're detectives now. Where is it? Woven wishes. That makes sense. All right, I think I actually kind of remember this. Um. That's actually for another quest. We need to imbue this with Electro, basically. But we'll do that when we get we to are. that. This is where we were robbed. Hey, You're coming with us? What are those? Huh? Our footprints. Very deep like oh. that. Leading towards the forest. Hmm. Why is there only these Presumably ones? Presumably the depth yeah. suggests that they were carrying something heavy. Let's see where they lead. Actually, very smart, Ayaka. Thanks. I actually think I remember where they were heading. Is it over here? And then... Can I use a home? No, okay. Thought I could. They're just over here. Just petty thugs. I get to play as Ayaka! <laughs> stop, thief! Oh! <laughs> you think you can get your stuff back with this bunch? Their you must be dreaming. voices are actually really cool. Why you, you better hope you have the courage of your convictions. You shouldn't say anything, Why you're not going to be man? fighting. Answer me this. You're one of those outlander merchants, right? What if he is? You trade association types are worms. Coming over to our land, leeching off our people. Who's going to leap to your defense, huh? Tell me, who's going to stick their neck out for the likes of you? 
the traveler who is also gonna save seven nations. <laughs> Look at and that. Possibly no all response. of Tabat. You know I'm right. Face it. This is Inazuma. You've got no ties here. You're at the bottom of the pile. Can you really blame us for walking all over you? Do you really think he wants to be here? You I mean, despicable. maybe he does. Hey, I just had an idea. Since you came all this way, how about we do some business? Business? For the stuff you business. guys stole? Pay up, and you can take your fabric back. Pay up for Sounds his good. fabric? If you ask me, it beats walking out of here with black eyes and a broken nose. Oh. You're just a big bully. Yeah, we've already established oh, that. I... Oh, what choice do I have? You have two fighters Wait. right next to you. Mr. Kurisu, please do not pay any money to this man. Thank you, Ayaka. But, but... I trust you remember our agreement? If you keep your lips firmly sealed, I too shall uphold my end of the deal. Ooh. Well, yes, of course. Then please stand well back where it is safe. Now, it is time for me to honor my word. Can I fight with just Ayaka? I wonder. So Ayaka is going to be a trial character. Come over here into the water. Thank you. Yeah, boom indeed. I don't like the, when they go underground like this, but... Um... Because when Ayaka goes under the ground, she... Makes her sword cryo for a short time. But it's still hard to control. Really? Where are they? There they are. Oh, that's a... Damage, Ayaka. Dang. Well, that's resolved then. Maybe I want Ayaka <sighs> instead. You made that look so easy. No, please. I. It was nothing. I was simply doing my duty. You should fight more Asami often. Sato. You know, like in the war. Are, are you hurt? Don't worry. We're fine. She did all the fighting. The vagrants left in quite a hurry. It would seem they didn't have time to take anything with them. I believe your stolen goods should all be here. Oh, yeah, Thank let's you. hope. Thank you so much. Yeah, you Karisu, we actually need that now. <laughs> Six, eight, ten. Yep, it's all here. Woo! Great! Now we can finally buy some silk. Mm -hmm. Buy silk? You mean you need some of the silk here? Don't give us the silk this for free, Karisu, please. Krisu. Oh yeah, that's totally the reason we helped you out. Chances are we still would have helped you get them back. Oh. Raymond thinks we're pretty lucky. If we arrived any later, our chances of getting silk in Inazuma would have been zero. I have silk. I honestly Maybe not silk fabric, but I have silk. Please, say no more. You need silk? I'll pick out a piece for you right away. Krisu, no! I like Kurisu. Thank you, good sir. How much do I owe you? Oh, it's free of charge. Kurisu, no! I never ask you to pay up for Please, charge no! No, no, that will never do. Things cost what they cost, and what they cost is what I shall pay. Please! The merchants already have enough challenges to deal with, and as Paimon explained, my help was unconditional. Please. Sell your wares to me at the price you would sell them to any other customer. Carissa, please? There is nothing to feel distressed Why about. Why do cryo nothing, user characters actually have blue hair, though? Today, did it. That's weird. Let me check that, actually. Nope, just an uneventful stroll in the woods. Thank you, I... I don't think I could ever repay you. You, have you don't have to, Carissa. never forget it. Just spread my name throughout Tibet. That's all I need. Part ways. I must get and, these goods you know, previous association. <laughs> if you ever need anything at all, just come to the International Trade Association and ask for Kurisu. Thank you. Very well. And thank you for the silk, Mr. Kurisu. See you then. Bye. Safe journey home. Don't go getting robbed again. <laughs> Maybe we 
we should protect him on his way home. Bye is the fabric, and you all say goodbye. Thank you for stepping in to help out. It is what I signed up for. But how come those vagrants didn't seem to know who you were? They must move in completely oh, different. Oh, hate areas. that. Maybe they've never seen anyone from the Kamisato clan before. Perhaps. Either way. Either that, or they were just petty it. little the criminals. The people who know what happened today, the better. <laughs> it's not every day an important person like you helps out someone like Kuritu. It really shows what a great person you are. What do we need oh, next? Uh, your praise is I want to get to the Archon quest, please. Really Celeste, do you stop being creepy? I admit that it did feel strange for me to come to his aid. But this should have nothing to do with identity or social class. Kind of sad that you as got your I'm vision in a duel with your brother and Kaya got his vision in a duel with his brother. I guess that deep down, that's kind of sad. See how a society can be considered just when people encounter such obstacles in their livelihoods. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. No problem. What do we need next? Was it pizza? Right. Let's head back to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. And give our or the silk, silk still. The shopkeeper. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, lady, I got your silk. Now, what do we need next? Also, Ayaka, why did you whisper to that lady? That's strange. Very, very strange. Hello? Do you need the silk? Is this the silk Welcome you needed? Back. So, any luck at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? Thankfully, yes. yes they did. Here. Excellent news. So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. Uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. Can you make it? They better all be there. <laughs> I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject You're going to jinx us by saying I've that. I'm meaning to acquire a new outfit for you too. But I can't wear yes. another outfit. I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuma attire. It's a kind thought, but I'm fine with my current outfit. Man, I want to see the traveler with so many outfits. But I guess that makes sense why she's fine with her current outfit, because maybe it's because it reminds her of her brother and her journeys around space? Or time, or whatever they explored? Oh, are you sure? <gasps> oh, so that's why! Also, if... Uh, lose her edge in battle. So they are special to her. Oh, we were mean. <laughs> Can you at least give Paimon some little clothes? That would be adorable. Paimon doesn't fight. Is that so? Unless those clothes are important to her. Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code as well as a code of conduct. Kind of. Mm. When you're away from home, you've got to live by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. That too. But Paimon would still love to check out some Inazuma outfits. Do they do Paimon sizes here? Like, wouldn't Paimon size be like newborn size? I'm going to be honest. Just what is that supposed to mean? They make them in whatever size the customer asks for. Oh, really? <laughs> Your interactions are so adorable to watch. <clears throat> I mean, um, I can certainly find someone to tailor a Paimon size outfit if Paimon so wishes. Oh man. <laughs> On a Paimon outfit, that would be cute too. Thanks, but Paimon and I are fine as we are. Hmm. Well, if you're sure, as you wish. Something else I've been wondering is... How, how many materials does she need? Dress? People in other nations dress? They dress like their nations. You can recognize if a person's from Sumeru, 
I don't know about Natlan. Actually, I'm not even sure I've seen a person from Natlan yet. But, um, seeing like, if a person is from Fontaine, and they're currently in Liyue, you can tell that they're from Fontaine, because most likely they're going to be wearing red or a certain style. Same with Mondstadt, kind of. Same with Liyue. Same with Sumeru. Same with Inazuma. Um, Shnezhnai is a little different, but it's mainly the same thing. And then there is also, um, Natlan, which I honestly don't know what they dress like. So, I guess that's... I think Natlan is actually after Fontaine, so I guess we'll find that out in, like, a a little over a year, probably. Like, a year and a half, maybe. They dress very stylishly. They sure do. Each nation has its own unique yeah. style. Traditional, fancy-schmancy, casual, all very different. But What's casual in this time period? The study of clothing is a profound discipline. And I still have much to learn. When clothing becomes part of the yeah, you're wearing of armor. personality... Even an extension of one's body. Dress armor, nonetheless. It's quite a wonderful thing. So I'm not against dressing up. Far from it. Paimon agrees. You I would love to play anything. dress up, but... Paimon, you know, you're so don't have that many fancy clothes. And it would look lovely on you. Aww. Wow. <laughs> Paimon just got a compliment. Yeah, as if you've never gotten those before. Did you get everything you Sorry needed? to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Is there any My inventory, else? aka the one corner. Not, I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Yes, please. Understood. We don't and even know what this lady shopping. looks like. In total, that'll be this much. You're not even gonna say. Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. How much is I'm some sure time? I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Can you give a specific date? <laughs> there will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. Food? For our next stop. I'd like to take you both for a meal. Yep. Food? Oh, Paimon likes <laughs> this plan. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought Isn't there the like two? atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Shall we head off? Sure. Yep, yep. Paimon can't wait. Is Kiminami the restaurant that's down there or up here? Closer. Okay, it is the one down there. Just checking. Because there's a Kiminami restaurant and... Shimura's restaurant? What is it called? Shimura's. The drinks are good. The drinks are super good. Drinks are good. Drinks are really, really good. <laughs> Still open. <laughs> All right, you do you, Shimura's. It seems Kiminami is actually really popular, but they're like neck and neck with each other, both Shimura's and uh, Kiminami restaurant. This music sounds really creepy. Places. Looks cute and cozy. Welcome. Oh, Miss Kiminami. How do you do? You've met her before? Miss Sato. Perfect timing. You're booking this floor? Booking? Well, right now. I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent. No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, 
tiny customer. Tiny customer. Prepare your food. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. Something the matter? What's going on? <clears throat> it's nothing of that sort. Yeah. I just have a few minor things I need to attend to. I won't be long. Uh huh. Few minor things, she says, and she runs off. Very ladylike, yeah, sure Ayaka. No hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. Yeah. So you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? Uh huh. <laughs> I guess. Yes, we serve all the classics. Sure, there are fancier looking places out there. But the food <gasps> here speaks for itself. What a very sweet, madame. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her Meryl. brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Oh. Her table's looking is it so Toma? Nicely. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. Pretty sure we're, we're her time. only yeah. friends other than Toma. Oh. Guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? We're already important she anyways. Does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. That's eh, kind of rude to say, but that that surprises you? How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Kinda would have thought that would make her really popular. <laughs> That's what I used to think too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated. Than yeah, that. that's why I don't like social interaction. To say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful. Not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. Oh. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection. And they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. I'm not a model of perfection, but I am a savior of nations. Everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Oh, Paima never would have guessed. We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities. Why don't you become her friend then? It makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Oh. Anyway. So you're like an aunt to her or what? Please, talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. Oh. <laughs> yep, she's gonna set herself on fire. Huh? That sounded like Ayaka. Yep. <sighs> this is the food. I'm so sorry, traveler. What's going on? Could you join me over there for a minute? Um, I need your help with something. Uh huh. You head towards the great noise. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I, um, just had a cooking catastrophe. Yeah, something like oh, that. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. And Ayaka. As you can see, this house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. Actually, okay. this whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Kimiyami to prepare some ingredients and utensils for me so that I could cook a special dish here. Why would you be cooking? Right. If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. You're really popular. Actually, you could I wanted to order cook anything, something basically. as a gift for Tsubaki. Oh. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, Perhaps a dish from oh, overseas I remember who Subaki is. A dish from overseas? Right. So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? Sweet, madam! If so, then we've got lots of I have a million of them. I'm a bit of a pro. That's what I was thinking. You must have picked up a lot of knowledge about different cultures. And you house. wanted to kick it because Hopefully, she's your mom's friend? Aww. Cuisines. Can I leave you to finish this task then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? I'll be indebted to you. Sure. Great. But what kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? Pizza! It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Pizza! Oh, Paima knows! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! Pizza! Pizza! Yeah! Pizza? <laughs> You've never heard of pizza before? 
Oh my god, she's never heard of pizza before. Personally, personally, I just like pepperoni pizza, but that's just me because I don't like pineapple. I don't like um, olives on pizza. I like olives, but not on pizza. Um, I don't like anything on pizza other than pepperoni and cheese. That does sound pretty good. Do we have the... Is the pizza ready? Uh, I guess not. Did we get the recipe for the pizza? Do we have the pizza? There's technically this. Would this also count? I know we have to make a different pizza, but... Because we have to make the mushroom pizza, um... I'm curious, actually. Would this work? We need one ham and two cheese. Wait, I should have this, shouldn't I? Yeah, I do have it. I guess this pizza doesn't work. Whatever. Fine, go with a disgusting mushroom pizza. Ew. Gross. Where is it? Um. What the heck? Where did it go? I'm probably looking right at it. What color was it? I think it was green. There it is. Okay, uh, one flour and one cheese. I can do that. I'm just gonna go over here because I don't know what Kiminami cells and we only have to cook one thank god sarah give me the things give me the good stuff one of these and do you have cheese yes you do thank you those are the recipes thank you i'll have to check that later and there's 40. Nice! Sticky- what? Huh? This is not a sticky honey roast? Wait a second. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> um... Mushroom pizza? Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah. I don't like the cooking, but I want all recipes to be like a hundred percented. I'll probably do that eventually. Meaning a long time from now. <laughs> uh, it's on my not important list. My m more important list is exploration rather than, you know, doing that. I got the pizza. Is the pizza ready? Yeah. Although I kind of had to travel to different nations to do that. Oh, it's ready. Here it is. It smells delicious. You're an excellent cook, traveler. You want me to cook a second one? Because I'm not cooking a second I would one. Love to be able to master dishes from all over the world. That would actually well, be nice. All you need to learn is a recipe. We can bring you some more recipes in the future if you like. I have a million of them. Great. I look forward to learning from your culinary expertise. You can learn right now if you didn't learn pizza. Did you not hear the explosion, Kiminami? Miss Kamisato, this must be the dish you were talking about. Yes. That looks like soup, but cooked sure. by the traveler. Could I trouble you to package it for me? Oh, sure. No problem. Oh, it smells good. Pizza! I bet it tastes amazing. Oh. Oh, I really want to put something like this on our menu. Don't eat it. <laughs> want us to teach you how to make it? It's for the lady. Oh, could you? Sure, I guess. The most satisfying meals are the ones you share with other people. So Paimon thinks that our friends in Mondstadt wouldn't mind us sharing this dish with Inazuma. 
That recipe is from Mondstadt? <gasps> That's great. Also, a I've always wanted to learn it's not surprising that Paimon dishes. is a food Can expert. A recipe for me? Recipe I'll expert. I'll add it to our menu and put a promotion where everyone will see it. Ooh! Since we've become a closed nation, people haven't had the chance to try anything new. Traveler, you're the best! I can share more I'll if you want. I'll go this dish for Miss Kamisato. Please, make your way back to the restaurant whenever you're ready. The food will be waiting for you. Nice. She just got a new you recipe out of that. that recipe for a high price, but you selflessly gave it away for free. Did I? You're a wonderful person. Ah, shucks. I mean it. I admire you a lot, and I'm so proud to be friends with someone of such fine character. Oh. Well, you should probably write down the recipe now, no? With yeah. what? Let's make sure we include all the details and then give it to Miss Kiminani. So, well, you want me to write it on X XP paper? The basic ingredients. <laughs> so you got caramel and lavender melon. That is not what's in it. Mushroom and flour. I'm actually curious. Oh, she's just gonna correct me. Now to add the next couple of ingredients. Hinako weed and fluorescent fungus. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yep, totally. Now for the cooking instructions. Place on the oven rack. And cooked until golden brown. All right, it's done. That's it. Long may our reputations and our recipes precede us wherever <laughs> we go in Inazuma. I have no doubt that they will. This dish is exquisite. Cool. Then let's get this recipe to Miss Kimi Nami Pronto. She's very excited about it. Oh, Kimi Nami, I got the recipe for you. Have you written out the recipe? Yep. Here it is. Thank you. She's so excited. Please. This is so exciting. <laughs> I want to make it right away. Traveler, Paimon, please accept my sincerest apologies Ooh. for delaying your meal. <laughs> I don't like sushi, <laughs> but thanks. Food always tastes better when you worked up an appetite. All right. Let's dig in before it gets cold. Well, what do you think? Is Inazuman cuisine to your liking? Again, I don't like sushi or seafood, but sure. You like all food. It's nice to try something new, I guess. <laughs> Good. I'm relieved. Oh. Um, when I was attempting to cook earlier on, did you chat with the owner at all? No. Nope. And did she, uh, say anything about me? She did. Do I say yes or no? She's just happy for you is all. Oh. She's happy for me? That you're not a loner? <laughs> That's literally oh. what she said. Then she must have told you. Did she, um, what does it matter? I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. What about Toma? Hey, you're just gonna leave him in the dust? Most people just haven't had the chance to talk to you one on one before. Thank you for your I mean, I know you don't have any Paimon. girlfriends other than the it's Paimon so and Lumine, but you I have Toma. Don't have very many friends. You have Toma. But most of the time, I'm either accompanied by family or staff, so everyone must have found it quite a surprise to see me taking you out for a meal. It's better to have like a few friends that are completely genuine than a million friends that are not genuine. You got a friend in me. Exactly. You got at least two friends right here. Oh. Aww. That's adorable. Thank you. That makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm forgetting myself. Oh. Hey now. Expressing your feelings is the right thing to do. Keeping them locked away inside isn't gonna do you any good now, is it? I agree. So. Paimon is actually I very just want smart. To say how happy I feel that you both see me as a true friend. Of course we do. That's always been our style. If someone's nice to us, we're nice to them too. Friendship can go a long way. Take your mom for example. She wrote about Sabaki in her notebook, and now it's made you want to find them too. Yeah. Yes. I think friendship is an extremely precious thing, and ours is one that I will always treasure. Person anyway. <laughs> well, 
Well, I think I have an idea, but it's just speculative at this point. All ears. I think that Tsubaki might be a fox envoy. Huh? A fox envoy? Envoy. Yes, that's what I think. Even I, my mother's own daughter, had never even heard of this friend before. It just seems so mysterious. So I think it must be someone with transcendent abilities who doesn't show themselves very often. I mean, and just because you didn't see now. them doesn't mean they're Stories not real, been right? Told about them in Inazuma since ancient times. You so they could be a Fuji person. Yaya they could before. just be like well, she's a fox really shy. Boy. I don't know. That got me thinking. Maybe there are fox envoys out there in Inazuma that people just don't know about. And maybe Tsubaki is one of them. Maybe. So Inazuma also has supernatural beings? We've already established that with Yai. When you say also, Lele has them Before too. Inazuma, we spent some time in Lele. They have and Bonestad, technically too. There, like the Adepta. But they were gods. All kinds of them too. Up in the sky, down below the ground, in the water. In the water was a god that was trying to kill us, and his I've wife that was trying to kill us. Started in books. But to hear someone talk about it from first-hand experience is extremely surprising. Yeah, I almost died so multiple times. Lives up to its reputation. Its culture has a long history and gives rise to the most beautiful legends. Quite captivating. You should come visit Lele with us sometime. The best part is they have loads and loads of delicious delicacies. Yeah, take it from Baima, I'm the food expert. I would love that. Speaking of delicacies. Traveler, Paimon, have you eaten your fill? I actually don't oh, eat a lot. Paimon has. Excellent. Then let's collect the kimono. What are you doing, Kiminami? You're brushing the air or something? Friend. Okay, where are we going? Oh, we're going to the kimono restaurant again? I could have just walked there, actually. I think. Uh, collect the goods. Okay. I grew textiles and kimonos. What's textiles? I think it's like fabric stuffs? Nah, I don't know. Your garment is ready, Miss Kamisato. I folded and packaged it for you. That was really oh. quick to make a kimono. The stuffs? That's ready too. Thank you very much. What is no it? No big you. It is a beautiful piece of clothing, and it was a pleasure to work on. See you again next time. Kimono's easy to work on? I don't get it. That took Traveler, really quickly. I have a gift for you. Really? Wow. That's super fancy. Is that for wearing in your hair? It's a hairpin in the style of a white heron. Ooh. As well as a hair accessory. You can also use it as an ornament. What? I can I see it? I your help and offer nothing at all in return. Oh. So this is my gift to you. Oh, thanks. I guess I'll take good care of it. I'll put I it in my magical it. backpack. Speaking of white herons, that's what your title means, doesn't it? Hirasagi Himegumi. So this gift is like a little piece of yourself. It's just <gasps> Puppy! It's just and beautiful as you are. The puppy saw us and came closer. That's what they do. If this gift reminds you of me, that is all I could ask for. Oh. <laughs> it definitely will. All right, well, now we've got what we came for. We can set off. Oh. Time to go meet Tsubaki. Was that it? Where do we even meet Tsubaki? Like, is it a surprise meeting or a white hair and hairpin? <gasps> oh, wait a minute. That's like a teapot thing. Oh, I completely forgot about this, actually. It's such a small thing in the teapot that, like, you don't even remember it exists. I have an idea. I actually don't know if you can place um, animals inside of the teapot mansion. So I'm gonna test that because it would be beautiful if there was crystal flies in the teapot mansion. Specifically in one room. That would be pretty cool. 
Please, 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 please. Can I? No! <gasps> I know I should still have animals left. Wait a minute. Wait, let me collect a few crystal flies. Maybe... Why does it have that animal's icon if I can't collect anything? Me? I so badly want to place things in there. Well, whatever. I guess I'm going to place Ayaka's hairpin on CD. How long are you going to be on CD for? There we go. Uh, where is it? Ornaments? There it is. That's adorable. And you can place it in certain areas, too. That's so cute! I know I'm gonna get a few things from a few quests. Not any recent ones that I know of, but... That is so cute! Oh, that's actually much larger than I thought. Aww. Kinda looks like a bird symbol. Whatever. That's adorable. Anyways, back to Tavat, because apparently I'm not in Tavat anymore when I go in the teapot. Um, she is down here, actually. Now, she's not, um, where you think she is. Um, she's actually where. No, stop pointing me towards the Adventurers Guild. Benny, I am not doing your quest actually down there not in the actual mansion place whatever it's called I don't know the names of things these names are really confusing she is down here do we have to fight any enemies I don't remember Ayaka are we really gonna meet her down here this is like I mean, we got gifts for her. If she's a fox envoy, why did you get a kimono for her? I mean, maybe she can so, has a human form. Like the eye? Ooh. If someone lives here, then why is it so chilly? Fox envoy? Fur? Hmm. I'm asking myself the same question. Maybe they like it. I'm quite sure that this is the location my mother wrote about, but surely. Maybe Sabaki really is a fox envoy? Hmm. I'm starting to have second thoughts. But since we're here. Yeah, maybe I you should look at the diary again. Yeah, makes sense. Who knows? Maybe there's a surprise waiting in there for us. Oh yeah. So, um, what does the notebook say exactly? Let me think. I thought it was a diary. A crane brings one fresh flower in its beak to decorate my hair, while a white rabbit sews a hemline from four rays of moonlight. One, four, e seven. I face eastward and call out Tsubaki's name seven times. In the blink of an eye, I'm standing on the path that leads to her house. Sounds like a fairy tale. So your mom would do a little ritual, and just like that, Tsubaki would come to meet her? Sounds a lot like an Adeptus, actually. I have a feeling that it could be some sort of code. 147? Well, let's get a little closer before coming to any conclusions. Good idea! I mean, you've already come to one big conclusion. East? But what's the one and the four? I understand the seven times thing, but... Um, is it further up? I don't remember where it was. Is it that? It might be that. That looks special. On the rocks in here. Could that be anything? Mr. Great, the strawberry and the stone wall. Is it this one? It might be this. Yes, it is. This fish is stone wall. This one looks a bit odd. One. Four. Seven? 
Some strange sounds can be heard coming from within the stone wall. Strange. There's nothing in here. Let's keep looking around. What? Is your mom tricking us, Ayaka? Maybe that's east? Oh, yeah, because that was kind of like southwest. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, what about this one? Looks a bit odd. One, four, seven. It's a code. Some strange sounds can be heard from within the stone wall. Huh. There's nobody here. Ooh. Just this box. Let's see what's inside. Is there any more doors? I don't think there is. Man, I want a chest. What's this? Did our Inazuma Deptus leave his <laughs> Oh, what's this? Huh. Looks like a book. It looks like a it chest. Seems to be another notebook. Uh, Could it be sheet of paper? Notebook? Uh, let's step back outside now. Tactically, yes. Than I'd imagined. Somehow, it makes me a little reluctant to open the notebook. Mm, I wonder Nobody why. Knows what you mean. Reading in low light is really bad for your eyes. <sighs> Come on, let's get back outside. Oh, no wonder I have bad eyes. <laughs> Just outside the cave. Is there really no other doors? Dang. I thought that would have been a door, but maybe there was nothing behind that. Is there one over here? No, there's a stone and Kabutu over there. This is not outside of the cave. I mean, this is yes. Here will do just fine. Wait, is it? All right, let's see what the notebook says. Oh, ooh, Paimon bets it's all about mysterious treasure. Oh, so exciting! Paimon, shush. What is it? Uh, why are you whispering all of a sudden? I'm making Paimon nervous. Come with me. He's ooh, she's in trouble. <laughs> So Lumine already figured it out. Oh. Oh, you want to let Ayaka read the notebook without distraction? Yeah, you're a very big distraction. Dude, whatever's written in there must be pretty major after all. But, um, based on her expression, it's probably not a treasure map. Hmm, what could it be? <sighs> Traveler? Paimon? Sorry to keep you waiting so long. No worries. It wasn't long at all. You're a very fast reader. I wish I was a fast reader. Have you finished reading the notebook? Yes, I have. I think I have to share the truth of this notebook with you both. Even though the contents are completely different than what I was expecting. Different how? You mean it wasn't a fox envoy who wrote this? Yeah. Not a fox envoy, no. It turns out that Tsubaki's real identity is my mother herself. Yep. Huh? Surprise? That she is. Me too. But that's what it says at the very beginning of the notebook. <clears throat> Tsubaki and I are the same person, and yet we are different. When I become Tsubaki, I stop being Kami Sato Kayo. I like the, the name Kyle. The most ordinary woman in the world. What follows in these pages is the ordinary, everyday life of a regular person. Nothing more, nothing less. So this she puts on a disguise then, the or a what? A collection of my mother's musings, both private and trivial. All of the things we thought were about Tsubaki were in fact about my mother herself. Why did she do that so though? So that means that the kimono design. And the international dishes are things that my mother wished to try. Yes, I'm sure this Aww. all sounds utterly bizarre to you. It's actually kind of sad that least, she looks a lot like her mom. behavior is completely understandable. To my knowledge. Or to put it another way, I... I actually have another side to myself as well. 
Obviously. I was at a loss for words when I started reading the contents of the notebook. It almost felt like... Like someone had looked inside my mind, examined my thoughts, and then written them all down on paper. Sayaka! From the moment my mother married my father, she became the mother of the Kamisato household. And with that came all sorts of duties. At the same time, the prestige of the Yashiro Commission brought its own share of responsibility. On top of that, how did your parents die anyways? Seen as representing the Kamisato clan. People were always watching her. Were they assassinated? Under such circumstances, she never had much time to do the things she really wanted to do. After my parents passed away, Ayato and I took over responsibility for the affairs of the clan. We ran into Ooh, all sorts berries. Of during that time. I'm not sure if people outside the clan could ever imagine what it was like. Yeah, because Ayato had, since he was the eldest, he had to take charge of the entire clan. The, I think the entire Yashiro Commission, actually. At such a young age, too. Every time I found myself up against a difficult issue, I'd ask myself, did my mother go through this, too? What would she have done in this situation? Maybe it's because it had been so long since I last saw her, but somehow, all that was left of her in my mind was the sight of her that inspired awe and commanded respect. Oh. But my image of her was incorrect. When I read this notebook, I realized she was just like me. You're just like her. Underneath whatever position she may have held, she was just an ordinary person. She liked Obviously. pink kimonos. She wanted to try food from different places. She yearned to see sights she'd never seen before. Maybe this all sounds immature to you, but I feel just the same Why way. Why would it be immature? I want to live life not as Kamisato Ayaka, but as an ordinary woman. As it always happens always with to go to a local Inazuma girls festival. high of status. She said that sometimes on a clear night, if you looked out from our house, you could see lights off in the distance. Aww. I've seen those lights too. It looks so lively with so many people. And it's so brightly lit, it makes the whole sky glow. Of course, sometimes it does make me a bit anxious from a public order perspective. Anxious? But for someone of my position to just show up at a festival with no warning, it could be considered improper etiquette. Who cares? Especially you can have some fun generation. too. When the Yashiro Commission didn't have a particularly close relationship with the populace, even if no one stopped us, the idea of the Yashiro Commission going out into the crowd, it'd certainly draw some strange looks. People would probably start thinking there was trouble afoot. Or it could be that the Yashiro Commission is supporting local festivals? Just a thought. Mother said that she didn't want to put people on edge. I mean, that she could be the case, to enjoy but the fun and freedom of the festival. She didn't just don't make it them. seem like you're investigating anything. Look like you're having anyway, fun. So she never went. Not even once. What if you go with me? Aww, so the kimono design that must have been the outfit she planned on wearing if she ever did go to a festival, right? That's right. And sometimes. Festivals sell international food. She wanted to try that, too. I hope this isn't a disrespectful thing to say, but... I never knew my mother was so in touch with her inner child. <laughs> oh. Well, that's not disrespectful at all. Paimon thinks your mom was the best of both. A big softy on the inside, and a big sense of responsibility on the outside. I mean, I don't even know who the Traveler's parents are, so... I've ended up fulfilling several of my mother's wishes already. I mean, there's a chance a Aether could know, because apparently he has I more knowledge than I do, her. but... Perhaps this is one thing that can simply never be. It's not your fault, it's just the way things are. Let's go to the festival. I understand. Thank you. I think I realize something now. Let's go to the festival, Mother please! are so similar in so many ways. The things she faced are things that I too will go on to face. She chose to place her unfulfilled wishes onto the identity of Tsubaki. 
As for me, I've already decided. Oh, so you've decided on an alter ego too? <laughs> no, um, I don't plan to do anything like that. I think, I think I will set myself a new goal. To live each day without regrets. That's so, a good um, plan for literally traveler, everything. I... <clears throat> Deep breath, Sayaka. <laughs> Five months. Would you be at all interested in checking out an Inazuman festival? Yeah! Paimon's been dying to go ever since we saw that poster. Paimon would love to go with you, Ayaka. So you've really never been to a festival before? Hey, come on, don't make fun. It's just because I used to have the same concerns my mother did. But now, I don't think I need to worry about it so much. I'm going to be true to myself and fulfill the wish that my mother and I shared. I know that you of all people can understand me going my own way on this. So, well, I've never let's known do this, you and me. parents, so... Let's go to a festival together. Sure. Paimon wants to come! Festivals here have loads of tasty snacks too, right? Oh, and fun and games! Great. Thanks, you guys. This is this next out, part is actually really wholesome. Oh, good point. Today is the last day, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Alright. You'll see why I say that it's really wholesome. I'll point out the part that I think is really wholesome. I mean, it's wholesome that she's with Ayaka, yes. But there's a part specifically that I was thinking of. You'll see in a second. Or in a few seconds, technically. Uh, okay. I was gonna say, please don't notice me, but apparently... That's not in your agenda. Leave me alone! I'm just trying to go to a festival with my friend. Please leave me alone. Please. Thank you. Ayaka! We're here! But it doesn't seem as lively as Paimon imagined. What's going on? It's night? Since it's the final day, many of the visitors must have already returned home. I've heard that the peddlers often close up shop earlier on the last day because there are fewer people around. Are we too late? I'll go and ask. Whatever happens, I at least need to go inside just this once. You say inside like it's an actual place. This is actually where a lot of festivals are held. Oh, right, I forgot that I had to walk. Also, my characters are gone, which is... Makes it more surreal. One part I hate about this is that Ayaka switches from side to side, which I absolutely despise. Ayaka, stay on the right side or the left side, please. Mask guy? It hasn't closed yet. It's just that there aren't many people left. Let's hurry and see as much as we can. I guess that's hey, a good thing. They have so many masks. Can I wear it? Hyman's heard that everyone's supposed to wear a mask at these kinds of festivals. Is that rule still around nowadays? Or... That used to be the custom, yes. And today, it's still a popular way to dress up during festivals. I want to have a mask. But it's not a hard and fast rule. Hard and hey, fast rule. Is that who I think it is? Miss Kamisato, right? Yeah. Oh, uh... And friends. <clears throat> Greetings. Be yourself, Ayaka. People seem to recognize Ayaka wherever we go. Hmm. Guess that's just what it's like when you're a famous Inazuman. And, you know, one of the Tri Commission. <laughs> but of course, the Kamisato clan leads the Yashiro Commission. It's one of the most well known clans in Inazuma. Not least because back when Master and Miss Kamisato had just <laughs> that is the really affairs, really cool. they used to make public appearances all the time. Some of the younger generations have never even seen Miss Kamisato in person before. Being yeah, because she Gaia, doesn't run it. I'm lucky enough to have seen Ayato her on many occasions over the years. You're too kind. My brother and I simply go where we must to fulfill our duties. Oh. 
<laughs> but this is the first time I've seen anyone from your family at a festival. I want to see Ayato. Business, I take it. Uh... Oh, there isn't actually. Today, I'm taking my traveler friend here around to see the sights. Yeah. Oh, a traveler? Huh. Now that you mention it, you do look like you've come a long way to get here. Yeah, literally. From space. Inazuma. Hope you enjoy yourself, young one. Ah, excuse me one second. Hey, everyone, listen. Oh. Up. Don't close up yet. Miss Kami Sato has come to join the festival. Really? N no, it's not like that. You are such a loudmouth. There's no need to make a fuss. We're just here to... Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, mister. If you hadn't let them know, they'd start closing down about now, right? That's a good thing? At least it sure looks like that time of day. <laughs> yep, you got it. But on account of this being the first time Miss Kamisato has ever come to the festival, it seems only fair to keep things open a little longer. I mean, it wouldn't oh, be fair to the stall owners for you. if they the didn't want to stay open, but no, 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 whatever. No. You've been far too accommodating to us already. We couldn't possibly... Ah, uh, don't give me all that. Here you go. Oh. Here you go. It's not often. How often are you going to say, here you go? Yashiro commission. So I've got to mark the occasion somehow. Besides, it'll make me look bad if you refuse. <laughs> you really had to say that. Okay, I think I understand. Ayaka, don't take it if you don't want to. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You have yourself a good time. I think that's the one thing I actually get to wear. Do you have anything for Paimon? Oh, hello there, kiddo. Um, I'm sorry, but we don't have any masks <laughs> on the side. Huh? Surely you're not gonna let Paimon be the only one at the festival without a mask? You can wear a ma <laughs> my mask, but it's gonna be bigger than your head. Wearing a mask is optional. But, but, oh, Paimon doesn't want to feel left out. Oh. Well, how about a tree leaf? Oh, okay then. Hmm. In that case, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do right now. But don't you worry, kiddo. I'll have a mini mask made specially for you when I get back. You should have made masks for kids. That would have been perfect for uh, Paimon size. It's nothing. But I won't hold you up any longer. You should go and enjoy the festival while everything's still lit up. All right. Traveler, shall we? Do I get to wear the mask? Oh, wait. Um, just one thing. Huh? I need to explain myself. I got a little nervous back there and... Clearly. I just made up any old excuse. But don't think of this as me taking you sightseeing, please. Oh. I brought you here because... Because I genuinely wanted to spend time with you. I may not like people, but I understand some social cues. I sense that. Okay, great. Do I get to wear it? Yes, I do! <gasps> it's not even covering the flower, which is beautiful. Oh, This is actually really cute! Um... Oh yeah, she actually waits for me if I stopped. <laughs> What'd you do, Nayaka? See, in Sumeru, there is one quest where we get to wear a flower crown. Regretfully, we don't get to keep the flower crown, which I hate. But we get to wear the flower crown for a short time, and it is so pretty! Like, look at this mask! Oh, it's actually depressing that, like, the mask isn't covering... The flowers, because the flowers were from Aether, her brother. <laughs> All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Huh? Oh, you want me to talk to you? Traveler, <laughs> look. This doll's doing fortune slips. I can see that. Miss Kamisato, hello there. You're out with friends today? Oh, what a rare privilege. Rare oh, privilege. Oh, <laughs> Would you like to give it a go? Okay. How much is it per draw? <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to know this, but the Yashiro Commission was very good to my uncle on my father's side at you one point You wouldn't expect her to know Thinking that? Thinking about it, 
It was when your father was around. I think he dealt with it personally. Well, I guess festival so related see, stuff. How could I possibly take your money? What? Uh, are you sure? Of course. If you like what you see, then please be my guest. The same goes for your two friends here. Oh, thank you. Paimon, what do you think? It's a generous Ayaka offer, but wants to do something nice for Ayaka. So, if they insist, who are we to resist? If they're offering, who are we to refuse, I guess? Well, if that's how you feel, then... Okay. We'll take you up on your kind offer, sir. Let's each do a draw. Alrighty then. Whenever you're ready. Draw a slip and reveal your fortune. <gasps> Am I gonna get a lucky slip? <gasps> I'm always bad at these. Open it up and see how you fare. Whoa. Which one did you get? Hi, my got No way. We got the same one. Traveler, what did you get? What did I get? Mine says great fortune from the world. That's creepy. Wow. You're so lucky. Ah, oh, congratulations are in order. Here's what great fortune from the world means. Wealth shall come to you. Oh, that's not what I you shall thought reap it meant. a bountiful harvest, and all shall transpire in line with your wishes. I hope. In other words, your good luck isn't about to run out anytime soon. I hope. What a great sign! Good things lie ahead. Congratulations. Okay, so the battle that I thought was gonna happen this stream apparently didn't happen this stream, but it's probably gonna happen. I don't know for certain, but it's probably going to happen um, next stream, which I'm very nervous about. You all have very we'll get to that when I get to that, up. though. With this kind of luck, you'll certainly be able to achieve anything that you wish. As in well, okay. finding a and lost sibling? That our good luck will never run out. Just a thought. <gasps> now here comes the wholesome part. <laughs> uh, wait, is that the food first? I don't remember. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. The wholesome part is after this. It's right up there. Ooh, tricolor dango. What do those taste like, actually? Specialties. Anything you want to eat? It's my treat. Give me one second. Um... It says tricolor dango or sweet. It says they can be sweet or salty. What do they taste like, though? Tastes like. Sweet rice. What is sweet rice? Also, why is tricolor dango only the green, white, and pink? That's, that's weird. Whatever. Uh, give me one second. What was I gonna search up? Um. Give me one second. Okay, so there's actually a lot of things I need to do for Yoimiya's story quest, so... I'm not sure if we should do that now or after this quest, because this quest is ending a little more soon. Or next stream, but I might do Yoimiya's story quest next stream. And then after that, we'd be doing the Archon quest and then so on and so forth. Everything? <laughs> <laughs> of 
Of course it is. Mm. But we don't want anything. Dragon's Bite's bike. Let's try them one at a time. Ooh, Ayaka, kind of like the Dango. Dango. Sure. I love one of those pink pancake things. Ooh, pink pancake. Uh-huh. Those look good too. Ooh, but so do the egg rolls. Kinda will try an egg roll too, please. Alright then. Well, at least you I'll use your manners. Sakura mochi. <gasps> see, sakura yeah, mochi actually look right really up. pretty. You'll see what they look like mm. later, maybe. This sakura mochi is just I don't delicious. think I have the recipe yet. Not bad, huh? One of our best sellers. Oh, please, sir. Kinda would like some more. I don't know if it's rude of me to ask, but how is this kind of snack actually made? <laughs> Do I get the recipe here? You want to try your hand at making it yourself? No problem. Just give me a second and I'll write out the recipe for you. Ooh, a new recipe? Are you sure about this? If you share the recipe, isn't that tantamount to giving away your trade secrets or something? Yeah, you say that when he is giving out his recipe, but you don't say that when I'm giving out my recipe? Sure. Well, it was you who gave Kiminami Restaurant that recipe for an overseas dish, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, you do know friends. me. We trade culinary tips all the time. Ooh. Here you go. I just treat it as me returning a favor on behalf of my friend. Thank you so much. I will study it very Can I see and what they look like? Because they are actually very hey pretty. You want the recipe too? Go on, I could see that you enjoyed it. Thanks, boss. <sighs> There's no greater feeling than creating delicious food with your own two hands. You should definitely give it a try. Mm -hmm. I will. Once I've learned how it's to a nice it, feeling when it actually turns out good. Oh, definitely. So long as I don't get poisoned, sure. I'm looking forward to it already. All right, I'll do my best. At least it's not going to be covered in slime and stuff. No, I want to see what they look like. But it's still being super fun. Paimon approves. Oh man. Yes, I agree. To spend the festival together with you today has been a truly wonderful experience. Where? Oh, poo. Well, I'll look at what the Sakura Mochi look like later. They actually look really cute, and on my main account, since they were so cute, um, after I used up all of my other, um... All of my other revival foods, on purpose, of course, because, like, I hardly ever die. Can I use this to cook? No, I can't. Um, after I used up all my, uh, healing foods, um, my life restoring foods, I don't know what they're called. Um, I just made, like, I think almost a hundred sakura mochi just because they were pretty. Even though, you know, I'm never going to use them. <laughs> oh, there's the Tenshukaku. That's creepy. This doll sells prayer plaques. It's an Inoue This tradition. is sad. You draw your wish onto a pentagonal piece of wood called a prayer plaque and pray that it will come true. Sounds similar to the way people in Lira release lanterns during lantern rites. Those are used for making wishes too. Welcome. Actually, I might do Yoimiya's quest now. Every wish is sacred. after this, it obviously. Means still got time to make yours before the festival ends. That's fun. Can we give it a try? Oh, wait. There's writing and drawing involved? Ugh, count Paimon out then. Paimon's head's feeling kind of fuzzy after eating so much. I love how Lumine just <laughs> face palms all of this. <laughs> Two prayer plaques, please, sir. Two prayer plaques for the young lady. There you go. Ladies! Traveler, have you decided on your wish? <gasps> Her wish is depressing. Yep, yeah, how about you? Yes. You can either draw a picture to represent your wish or write it out in words. Either way, once you've committed your wish onto your plaque, please hang it onto the prayer rack. So they'll be on public display? Hmm. All right. Well, let's see what you got. <sighs> you hang your completed prayer flag on the this wall. This will do for mine. May I see yours? 
you got it. This is you and your brother, isn't it? This one? It's, it's a blue mean and aether! <gasps> it is so sad. Why do you have to do this to me, Genshin Impact? I don't feel like crying right now. See, Lumin does everything for her brother. You look closely at the quest that sh you do, and you realize she's just trying to get her brother back, no matter what she does. And this is hers of, like, Inazuma and the people and around Tenshikaku, like, being friendly, I think. Yes. <laughs> she wants him back. That is so sweet and sad. Your wish will surely come true. And I will keep you in my prayers. Ayaka, what did you draw? Is that Tenshikaku? That's right. I wish for peace and happiness for everyone in Inazuma. And good health for my family and friends. <sighs> I do hope that wish can come true. It will. Aww. Thank you. That gives me hope. <sighs> I think that might be all we have time for today. Aww, it's time to leave already? Yes. So. The festival is coming to a close. Time flies when you're having fun. It, it seems wasn't to flow even that long, but sure. Like a rushing river. As precious and short lived as a cherry blossom dancing in the wind. Dancing, you say? <sighs> it's time to leave. The mask. You to return to Chingsu Forest with Ayaka. Chingju. Traveler. Today was the first time in my life that I've ever been to a festival. I have the mask. You've known me for some time now. I think you understand my personality, don't you? I know me. I just know that today Ooh, could not have been such a happy day without plus. you. plus. So thank you. Today really meant a lot to me. And the memories will always have a special place in my heart. Festivals are great. There aren't many rules. Everyone has that smile that comes from deep inside. And it's just so carefree and happy. If I ever get the chance, <laughs> I want to go again. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that would be fun if I got more recipes. You too? Great. You know, I mean, I get more of her than for so yeah. Having a brother. Sometimes, but it's not I similar like because I relate to the determination you must have to get your brother back. See, you can and you can't because your brother isn't. Your brother still stays at the Kamisato estate. Lumian's brother is somewhere missing. You can and you can't relate. Finding him is the whole reason for my journey. I understand. Family bonds are inseparable. No one can break them. They are the most important roots we have in this world. You will find him. Come what may, you must never give up. Oh. I will always be here for you as your... Growing flowers. As your friend, I will always support you. Thanks, Ayaka. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Oh. Now Ayaka's gonna do something and... <sighs> yeah, it makes me very aggravated. <laughs> Traveler, huh? there's something that I'd like to do. Those shoes with the it socks bug me. Another moment. Why is she Electro? I guess whenever she's in each nation, it's just surmise that she gets the vision from that nation. Just for simplicity reason. Socks in the water. Please, <laughs> keep your eyes on me. I feel like you would be Cinder, eh? Whatever. Uh, 
I like the fan though. Why are you in the water though? It's weird. And your socks and your socks with shoes and oh no. <laughs> See, in the last part of Ayaka's dance actually symbolizes her elemental skill. I think. Yep, that was her elemental skill. Don't understand that dance necessarily, but what socks in the water. Dance? Did you ah. like it? It was so pretty. Beautiful, elegant. I still have the mask. Oh, that's and creepy. Something else Paimon can't put into words. Hmm. Paimon doesn't really know what it was, but it Dance? is. Dance? Delightful. <sighs> I'm not very good at this kind of dance. So, as long as I didn't embarrass myself, that's all that matters. As long as you're having I just, fun, I don't think you should embarrass an yourself. Urge, and I ran with it. <laughs> In a way, that sort of sums up today for me. Dancing like nobody's watching. That was you dancing like nobody's watching? Girl, you need to get out more. I mean, I suck at dancing, but dancing when nobody's watching? That, that is fun. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that goes for you, too. When I'm with you, time seems to slow down and speed up at the same time. Oh. Anyway, it looks like this is goodbye for today. I can see myself the rest of the way back. See ya. Good night, traveler. Can I keep my mask, please? <laughs> please. <laughs> She dubbing the dude, it is so cute! <gasps> Lumine! Aw, oh, Lumine is so cute. That's absolutely adorable. Now, I think it is going to- The stream is going to extend for a bit, but I am gonna do... Yoimiya's story quest as well, because... As you can see, I need to. Which kind of pisses me off, but whatever. Hooray, uh, what does this say? Go to the beaches? Uh, you've been in Azuma for a while now, but your investigations continue. One day, you and Paimon arrive at the seaside. Okay. <gasps> oh, wait, do I have enough for a temple? Ooh, I do! Baiju's gonna disappear. But I don't care. I'm not even gonna do a ritual. What am I gonna get? Okay, I got the Favonius sword. That's not that useful. It, it wasn't just that. See, this is my luck with things. Yep. Nice. I really appreciated that. There's also a quest right there. I'm gonna collect that. So I don't forget. Are you, is your quest good? Oh, there's more! Whatever. The stream is gonna extend for a bit, but I don't care. Midori. I've been to the outside world before. What do you mean by that? Do you mean, like, other nations? Well, I'm running out of new ideas to tell Koichi. What kind of new story? It's a new story told by Uncle Ramsey. <laughs> oh, who is this Uncle Ramsey? And he, is he blonde and British? <laughs> he said 
He's been to many countries and seen many interesting things. In order to record these things, he wrote something called the travel log. I've heard of that before, actually. He showed me a lot of his travel logs. For example, there's this kind of iron carriage that flies in the sky in Fontaine? It runs along an invisible road. <gasps> okay, that's actually cool because there's invisible paths in Sumeru. That'll reach to, reach to puzzles. It takes no time to travel from one end of the village to the other. Fontaine seems to be like really industrial. Huh. There's a special kind of grass in Sumeru which can only be planted which can be planted anywhere. It can be planted in soil, water, or sand. Once it's planted it will sprout and grow. And and there's kind of hmm, a boat that can stay at the bottom of the sea for a long time? You mean that Titanic? <laughs> By riding that boat people can go deeper into the sea to do all kinds of things. See all kinds of fish. <gasps> oh, that could actually be an addition to Fontaine because Fontaine is the nation of Hydro. Maybe there's like underwater caverns that you can travel with that boat. That would actually be really cool. Kind of like a submarine boat. What's that puppy doing? Did he tell you about Shneshnaya? Shneshnaya? Well, I don't think so. Well, that's not the point. Oh man. Recently, Uncle Ramsey stopped sending me his travel log for some reason, so I'm running out of stories to tell Koichu. I know that Uncle, Uncle Ramsey has been staying at the Komori Tea House. I wanted to go find him, but the gatekeeper, Sister Koze, uh, Kozue, wouldn't let me in because I'm a kid. Uh, you look old enough. Uh, can you help me ask Uncle Ramsey what happened to those travel logs? I'm not that old. Lumine, you're like 500 something. Anyway, you look like a reliable person. Please help me. Fine. Oh, are you also interested in reading those travel logs? Yes, I am. No problem. Just give them to me when you're finished. I, I'll go with you. Although I can't get in, I can wait for you near the tea house. I'm looking forward to reading Uncle Ramsey's new travel log. Why can't you go in just because you're a child? I mean, it's a tea house, sure, but... It's not like a bar or anything. And then there was one up here as well. There it is. Is there another one? No, it's just that one. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to Naganohara fireworks later. Hey, Kiminami. What am I gonna do? What happened? Traveler. Great. You have perfect timing. Do you remember the recipe you wrote for me last time when you and Miss Kamisato came to my store? Yeah, that was literally like 20 minutes ago. Oh, that pizza was so popular that many customers came to the store to order it specially. But some customers also said they were bored of eating pizza all the time. And asked if I had other pizza flavors. <gasps> like pepperoni and cheese? Although I had tried several several methods to make new types of pizza based on feedback from customers. Please don't make pizza, pizza with la lavender melon. You'll be just like the person who added pineapple to pizza. But I always feel that something is lacking. And the response from customers is not very good. <sighs> Maybe I'm really not good at making pizza. Traveler, you know a lot about this dish, right? Can you give me some advice? Sure? Great. By the way, I've also collected feedback from customers. Give me a moment. I'll look for it. It's like written feedback? Is that cabbage? <gasps> oh, that was the signboard for the mushroom pizza! Clever. Miss Ray said, although the Taste of this pizza is not bad. I have another pizza recipe if you want it. But she felt the pizza would taste better if it's incorporated in some kind of Inazuma, Inazuma's local ingredients. 
I wonder what ingredients she would like to see. Traveler, please help me ask her. Uh, sure, in another time. I'm not gonna do that right now. I just wanted to unlock your guys' things. Can I cook anything? No, I can't. I mean, technically, yes, I can, but nothing that I want. I don't see any other class. Alright, you Amy, I'm coming! I am extending the stream just for you. You better be proud of me. Hi, kids. Why are you cheering like this? We're looking for the great Regina Yokai! The what? Do you know where it lives? What is great it? Regina Yokai? What's that? Huh? You've never heard of it? No. It's a sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. It's got magic powers and can even shape. Why is the camera in the bushes? That's wants. suspicious. One time, the great Regina Yokai stole some rice from our house. And this other time, it pushed my dad into the river. Oh, really? It sounds like a very naughty little monster. Why are you out looking for it? Because we finally found out how to chase it away. <gasps> oh, I remember this. Great Regina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. Uh huh. So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we could come out and play whenever we want. I'm not even gonna explain this. It'll be explained. Aren't you guys afraid? I'm sure that your parents must be worried about you. Yeah, it's literally midnight. I told my dad that I was gonna find the great Mujina Yokai with some friends. And he didn't even say anything. He probably didn't even so hear you. I think it must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. Or telling yeah. a certain person yeah. that you're as looking for them. As long as we get them. home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Hmm. Uh. This thing sounds very strange about all this. But Paimon can't say exactly what it is. We've never seen a monster like this before. And the dad's attitude doesn't quite add up. Like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those storybook monsters that doesn't exist in the real world. I'm pretty sure Yo and Mia told that to them so they didn't misbehave, but you tell that to the kids and they're gonna misbehave even more, and eh, that's why I don't like kids. I guess the parents just don't want their kids staying out all the time. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for us. Oh, but you're gonna spoil their dream? Oh, children! Listen up! Oh. There's no need to go looking for the great Regina Yokai, alright? Because it isn't real! Huh? No way! That's impossible! My dad wouldn't lie to me! <laughs> Your folks are just worried about you, is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous! That's not true! The great Mujina Yokai is definitely real. Yeah, proof. Yeah, Yoimi is even making some weapons for us. Oh, is she okay? now? She's gonna show us how to blow it up. Uh huh. Yoimi, uh huh. Wait, as in fireworks prison break, Yoimi? Why are you getting closer to me, Crab? The great Mujina Yokai. She said we shouldn't be scared of it. We should learn how to chase it away instead. We've been waiting for ages now. And finally, Yoimiya said that today's the day! Oh, really? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yoimiya plays with us and tells us stories all the time. She wouldn't tell a lie. <laughs> but, but... Oh, uh, yeah, this is why I don't like kids. Here and go find Yoimiya. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold on, don't go! There's the dirt! <laughs> oh... That's sweet, oh, but they're kids, so they're dumb. Let's follow the kids and see what's going on. Okay. Dream like timeliness. Timelessness? I don't know. Eh, eh, there's gonna be you guys over here, or maybe not. Oh. Well, thank God Genshin at least did that and got rid of them for now. Yo, Mia, what have you been telling them? Sure down she was only joking back there how could the great mujina yokai not exist huh? Yoimiya. but we've never seen it for ourselves 
That's because the great Lugina Yokai is extra powerful. And that's exactly why I need your help, isn't it? Help? Um, it's okay. Don't be discouraged. Hey, remember, if you want to be a hero, you gotta have patience. And wisdom, too. That's adorable, right now, Yoimiya, but definitely show up before the fireworks show starts. I'm not good with so, kids either. Remember to come and pick up your weapons from me before then, okay? No matter how powerful the great Gina Yokai might be, it's no match for my specially made fireworks. Oh. Just light them up and you'll scare it off, no problem. You just want to light it's off extra you fireworks. Your homes, your crops, and your books. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Miss Yoimiya. We'll try and be more patient. Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. I've used up the paper for you guys. One each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. Just tell them it's from Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Adult to adult talk. We're gonna go back now. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Come play with us soon. She is literally like the big sister of Take these kids. And I'll see you later. How can you deal with kids so easily, Yoimiya? I have too much anger issues to deal with kids. Uh, we meet again. Ah, so it was you guys. I guessed as much from the way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. I don't know to do with kids. Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. Does okay. it exist? But it definitely doesn't exist. Right? Yeah. The first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. Okay. But when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell them that it looks cute and likes to play pranks and doesn't hurt people. So, uh, I guess now the kids' impression of the great Mujina Yokai is mostly influenced Wait, by me. the name Yokai actually sounds familiar in an anime that I watched a long time ago. I don't know, maybe it was just me thinking that, but name Yokai sounds familiar. And I don't know why. Yokai are Japanese ghosts or supernatural bees from Japanese folklore. The word yokai can refer to stranger and explicable phenomena. So I guess it's something related to, like, supernatural stuff, I guess. Wow. Celestia being so creepy! Way, this monster is all a product of your creativity? Isn't it a bad idea to keep the lie going like that? Maybe so. In any case, I'm not gonna be the one who exposes it. Of course not. Sure, it's likely that the parents just wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time. But they could have easily had other reasons, too. If I just go ahead and tell them that the great Mujina... I just realized you had nail polish. Story, then who knows? I might be doing more harm than good. Besides, they're just kids. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. I guess. It's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. Heck, I entertain my fair share of fantasies, too. The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow. Fire diamond? The mist spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide That little octopus is so cute. I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist. Nah, nah, nah. I'd give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because uh, it's just so annoying. I kind of get what you're saying. Right? So what if it's made up? It's also really awesome and kind of magical. So it's not. But you also don't want to put but innocence in danger. As we had when we were young, when they're trying to look for the yokai. We, up. when you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and sacred swords that cut through darkness. But 
interesting thing. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell? Dragon's Bride's bike! The Inazuma's down, all the grim tales of the Vision Hunter Tree. I think it's a bit too early for all of that. Uh, yeah! Oh, way too early. <laughs> No need to pretend to agree if you didn't understand. <laughs> Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Okay, it's about time I headed back. The Naginohara fireworks show is just around the corner, and there's still a fireworks show. <gasps> Can I create my own fireworks? Is that hosted by your family or something? I want to make my own fireworks. I mean, that's why your name is on the event. It's well known Ooh, throughout the statue. Inazuma. Oh, on the subject, are you busy these days? If not, then you should totally come along. I'll prepare an extra pretty fireworks <gasps> just Ooh. for you. Sure. <laughs> In that case, come with me to Naginahara. We'll go see my boss. There's still a few fireworks to finish off before the show. Inazuma is home to the Yai Publishing House. And a lot of people who like to write stories, too. In fact, most of what they write is based off of the kinds of fairy tales I was just talking about. A lot of yeah, I kind of got endings, that. Though. Like, the fire diamond will get put in a rich person's gallery where it will never be ignited again. Fire or, diamond? Someone will see them as spirit. Sounds actually pretty. Because they angered it. Like a red diamond or something. Again. The hero who slays the dragon becomes the next dragon. The sacred sword that Creepy. once fought the darkness now becomes a doomsday weapon. Doomsday weapon? Uh, I know these kinds of stories are all the rage nowadays, but I really can't bring myself to like them. If something's magical, you said you did like them. That way. Oh, you meant like the stories that like weren't fairy tale like. Fireworks show is almost upon us. And the fireworks yeah, this is quite literally her dad, ready. I think. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or customers? Yes. A bit of both, actually. <laughs> they arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? Of course not. <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naginahara Rienosuke. We'll tell Rien you all about the That's long a history of the Naginaharas. Cool name. But that can wait, pups. I need to ask you about that. <laughs> can wait. <sighs> a long, long <laughs> time ago. Uh, pups has started telling the stories again. Oh, oh no. Sorry about this. Uh, ever since pups had his accident, his ears don't work too well. Really? But for a moment Beautiful there, it pups. almost seemed like you were having a coherent conversation. Mm. Yeah. Much, much later. People eventually realize that if you grind certain materials into dust, they burn with many beautiful colors. Rainbow flame? Pops, pops, wait! Huh? What? What's that? <laughs> Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered yet? Oh! Yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before yesterday. And the ones from the day before that. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. They should have arrived Didn't today. you want the fireworks specifically? Oh, today's fireworks are almost ready, Are you ready crafting too. the fireworks? Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. The old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. You, Aimea, you might have to investigate yourself. <laughs> the raw materials for making fireworks. <laughs> Sorry? Material. <laughs> The materials. Now he gets it. Yes, yes, the materials. Sorry, sorry, Paimon got all excited. <laughs> and he finally got the message across. <laughs> <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. Oh, the of course they're not. come over to explain why, but well, I think they did. But I think they I did. What they were saying. No worries. Were they, they stolen? Were That's fine. You can just make them later. Oh, oh. Don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? Of course. Leave it to me. Did you hear what she oh, said? Sorry if we were a little loud. It's always the way, though. If that wasn't even that loud. Ask Pops something. I think you two are quite similar. <laughs> I get told that a lot. Because my Pops is deaf, 
He never argues with anyone and never contradicts them. He just listens cheerfully. <laughs> when I was little, that's adorable, though. He really understood me and agreed with whatever I had to say. So I told my pops everything. Oh. Eventually, I realized that the reason he was like that was that he's deaf. But I still tell him stories every day. Huh? That's adorable. That. It just makes me happy to see him smile, and it keeps him from being lonely, right? Anyway. Can't he hear a thing, right but he still smiles and nods. That's adorable. And the materials still haven't arrived. We need to think of an alternative. Craft other yeah. materials? Is that you? Oh no. Ah. Oh, you scared me there. I thought I told you to be more careful before you speak. Are you hiding hiding a fugitive? Sorry. Hold on. I'm coming over. Wait, so your dad has been death deaf for ever? Who's over here? No one's looking. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. This is the back. Person hiding inside uh, carefully well, crawls out the window. No one from the tutorial oh, I remember this. We'd all be in big trouble. Sorry, I guess I was a little rash, but when I heard you come back, I just don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. So you're hiding a fugitive? We'll look for firework materials shortly. While we're out, we'll sort out the boat situation for you. Huh? As promised. Thank you for all your help. Who is this and why is he hiding in your home? He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. Just because he wanted to go back home? Uh, shh, keep it down. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. Yeah, especially since you have a vision. <laughs> caught, there's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. All we can do is find him a boat and send him out of Inazuma again. But isn't there a thunderstorm out in the ocean? He would surely die or at least get close like that one lady did. Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? Uh, drowning is really scary. Yeah, you've been through that. If things are this bad, couldn't you have just not come back in the first place? Well, there's something I felt I had to do. What was that? Did you get but it done as already? As soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but... Now I'm not sure anymore. What is it? I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. Hey, no worries. You're more than welcome. Remember what I said? As long as you've got that little piece of paper, you'll paper? always be a valued customer of the Naganoharas. A little like a receipt or something? The paper? Uh, like the paper slips you gave to the kids? What paper slips? Yep. Same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. When the oh! customer orders fireworks for a commemorative event, we always include a little paper slip with the goods. Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's really? the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. Oh, that's actually really smart. That paper slip, we guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased. Ooh. Whether it's ten or even a hundred years later. Cool. Wow. How old is Naganohara fireworks? It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. <sighs> How does the slip you help you, though? Would turn out the way Did you have. just want fireworks the same? Fine. You came back to Inazuma just to get fireworks? I'll still try and come up with a different solution. Because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Whatever the reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Yeah, clearly, since Thank you're you. stowing them away in your I'm home. Sorry, I still have some time to consider my options. All right. Well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. I'll let you know as soon as I have an update for you. All right. Uh, I'll leave it to you then, I guess. He goes back into oh, hiding. It's a shame. They still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Speaking of, you can 
guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? We went through a long, long, long process in retail. It wasn't that long, but it was long. Even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Haragi Chisato of the Kaiju Committee. And Toma. Oh, I see. So you had big shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakajiro. Yeah. Uh, I just wish I mean, the commission Toma could help, right? Flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? Each archon has their own idea on how to rule things. The one wanted to retire and see how his people fared without him. And the other one was just too lazy to run things. <sighs> well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm sorry. I invited you to come watch the fireworks, but now I have to run a few errands. Mm -hmm. You don't of course, I'm gonna be dragged along. I can go sort out the firework materials in the boat by myself, and then you can come meet me back at the house. Can I learn how to make fireworks if I follow you? Oh, cool! Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. Really? Along the way. Oh, I want to learn how to make fireworks. I mean, I know for lantern right I can, but oh man. You saved me from drowning. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just quite envious of your relationship. Envious? If my pops had a person like you around, his being deaf would hold things up all the time. Oh. Uh, 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 why do you look so excited? Because, because. Uh huh. Oh. That's adorable. I mean, you're a little person, Paimon. You're just a little floating mascot person. Pixie fairy Luigi, thing. Luigi, I'm here! How is the boat coming along? Yeah, it's, uh, alright, I guess. Why um, do you say it like I that? was questioned, though. Oh, no. Wait, wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Oh, don't worry, they're my friends. You can trust them? Yes! They came with me to check up on the boat. Yeah! You could say we're all in the same boat here. Uh, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just gonna ignore that. Sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Give me one second. Um, just checking something really quick. God dang it, not what I wanted to do. Clicked on the wrong thing. Alright, whatever. Just checking something really quick. Because of the Sokoku decree, the Tenryo Commission is really suspicious Can't leave of any in seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to what know if you just what we go plan fishing? on with it. It's a real nuisance. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I don't know actually, how to make a boat. You came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying thank you. Right, I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Thank you. Oh, if it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. So if you, you get the slightest thing wrong with them. If you buy fireworks, you get this paper slip so you can make the you can buy the same exact fireworks next time. And then if you buy the same exact fireworks next time, do you get another paper slip or do you just like keep the paper slip or something like that? How does that work? All right then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma tradition after all. I do want to see yeah, fireworks even though I don't like them in oh, real life. You know what? You should tell them about your past. They're too about loud. The first time you ordered fireworks for my family. That's a long story actually. Where do I start? Long story? Uh, oh, 
Maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Uh, got caught up in the tunnel station there. Yeah, a lot like okay, her dad. Well, I'll leave you to it for now and meet your you dad. Your dad may later. be deaf, but he talks a lot too. <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. Yeah, you're a lot like uh, my brothers, so actually. Busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Oh, it's killing me. I mean, you've chatted with me. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction from him. Oh. And I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ugh. What I meant to say was. While Koichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some firework materials. Some Where do we find those? Not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. We're missing a lot of materials. How much is a lot? It's too much trouble to worry about us. It'll be fine. It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. Well, I mean, if it's for a festival, yeah, that makes sense. Have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. So, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take your orders. <laughs> so, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy the work? Oh, I do! I really do! Clearly! I was born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom! And then seeing all the lights and colors and... There was a previous event where Clea came to Inazuma with Albedo, not related to Albedo, but they still consider each other like big brother, little sister type thing. Clea met Yoimiya, and it was a disaster. Uh, uh, but what I really wanted to say was, uh, don't worry about me. It'll all be fine. See, Yoimiya's a lot about fireworks, but she's also about like goldfish too and now that you look at her design you can like see it a lot like you can see the firework designs yeah but you can also see the goldfish like this right here is like the head of the fish this is like the three tails of the fish it's cool your main main point got it a little buried on all the extra information Conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? So, when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to yeah. say, I just have In to real life, fireworks are too loud and. Let's head to the just stage. too loud, in my I opinion. I'll try my luck with some people I know they're now. supposed to be, but I still don't like them. I've always been kind of sensitive to loud noises. It can get uncomfortable, I guess, but what else would I be using my voice for? Yeah, it's not like Yoimiya sings for concerts and stuff. <laughs> I mean, she's a fireworks maker, so it makes sense why she would have like a firework type yeah, personality. Yeah. Expectations not to be betrayed? Why is it called that? That's oh, creepy. Morigo. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoimiya, there you are. I thought you might show up. Did you? Ah, uh, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. It'll definitely be enough. Huh? Oh, so she already... How did you know? Put in an order? Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last-minute materials. Guess that makes sense. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for, eh? So sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. Oh. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? Uh, sorry for the trouble. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. <sighs> Once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows? He probably would have run away by now. Oh. Nah, he was never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and cares a lot about your feelings. It's just he doesn't know how to express it. Oh. Maybe if you turn that frown upside down. Ooh, like I want one of those. And I, I mean, yeah, I know it's the eye publishing house, so foxes are a thing here, you. but. It's, Which is strange, I want one. because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. 
If you have any more trouble in the future, just come to Why me. are you looking like that, Paimon? It's not fireworks related. I'll happily oblige. <laughs> and Louise notices. Always. <laughs> All right. Then. Paimon, what's with that Everyone's look? Always saying That's what a good really creepy. Was. Your father must be very <laughs> proud of you. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh. No, you don't. That's out of the question. Wait, do you need ore don't to make worry. fireworks? Just take it as a token of my gratitude. I understand if you need gunpowder or something, but your bills, how do you make fireworks? Wait, to me, can't we just play by normal business rules here? Do you make fireworks like I you do in Minecraft? Just fine. paper Please, can just take it. Gunpowder. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. Um. Well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? Apparently not. All right, then. If you insist. Pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Oh, that's Will adorable. Do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. Again? Everyone seems to know, like, everyone around this community, seems. Fireworks are pretty important to Inazumans, huh? Well, for one thing, if you want to commemorate something, naturally you're gonna want something loud, bright, and beautiful. But I think more importantly than that, everyone trusts us. If it wasn't for our customers... <laughs> Even her ponytail looks us. like a firework! It's anyway, so cute! We've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Firework what? and fishy designs, like on her arm. Down here to like the Am Aminoma Smithy, is it what it's called? Is it called that? Yeah, Aminoma. But you're just the How's apprentice. Mr. Aminoma, it's me. Ah, Yoimiya. Do you come here mistaken, a lot? You must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. Oh, no, am I going to have to help with that? Oh, wait, actually, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, some worries. Oh, boy. How about this? Do you need a hand? As long as you can get through your uh, orders, of you can help me process my ore, right? Really? Uh... Why is the top master. of your head bald? Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. Please! There's still a lot of fireworks left to make if I don't finish them on time. Why How do you need ore for fireworks, seat, though? Dear child, the essence of Aminoma art is patience. Ah, yes, focus. you really do talk like a when wise the old man. Is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but, this but is we a need stuff! Surely, the Naganohara fireworks show is right You actually the seem a lot nicer than so Wagner and Mondstadt. And I will process it for you. Huh? Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? I mean, no offense, but so you're an surprising? old man. It is, after you look all, to be retired. The only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. I mean, you're still technically the you're owner, but... Welcome. The Naganohara fireworks show is an important event. This, I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. But, Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. Yeah, you also want to hire people at no Naganohara Fireworks to help? No matter how much you prepare in advance, it may never be enough. Excuse me. I will be back shortly. Wise old man. Finishing wow, processing the Nova. ore. Whoa. Ooh, the Ooh, nails. The these rings. It's beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques. Where's the my other whole anvil? Life. 
They are impossible for me to forget. I mean, there's this anvil, but he's using it. I think the Aminoma art is... It's not the art that Kazuha's family did specifically, but it's close, I think. Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. The people may have changed you know I mean, from one grandfather? to another, but the ingredients required to make fireworks have remained the same. Hajime, in the future... This will be up to you. No pressure or anything. I know, I know. <laughs> All right. I mean, Zuma really likes the purple. Wonders. I mean, I get it, electro, oh, but come and watch the whoa. Okay, time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. At the boat. I mean, wouldn't that be suspicious? A guy waiting by a boat because the dot guy did say that if they're caught with a boat, they're gonna question him, and if he's a f wanted fugitive, then they're definitely gonna catch him. By the tree? Yeah, that's totally not suspicious seeing a person by a tree. Oh, this was the boat maker! Sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. No one's been so good to me, though. It's all going really smooth. How do you make fireworks? <sighs> Feels like Paimon has barely spoken a word this whole trip. And that's surprising, considering it's you. It was nice just listening quietly. I mean, I always do that. In real life, at least. I felt like I was neglecting you guys. So, I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You guys are travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Mondstadt will forever be my home. Oh, sounds great. I heard they pretty much have no rules over there, right? But people are free to live their life however they want, doing whatever makes them happy. Well, my pops yes. actually received a gift from one of his old customers over there. It was from the winery or something. Gone Winery! Their dandelion That's what it is. is super famous. Apparently. Yes, that's the one. I remember when he drank it. <laughs> I've never seen him enjoy a bottle of wine so much in his life. He was telling me all night. About but how is it makes... made from dandelions? Well, this is what I want to know. With a strong will and a clear purpose. I want to know this from D. Luke. Maybe it's to see a certain view. Or D. Luke do actually doesn't it. like wine. He so, likes grape juice. You guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma. But he's in. Um. D. Luke doesn't like wine, so he drinks grape juice, but he's, like, in the biggest wine industry in Mondstadt, maybe into that? I'll detract an enemy god and look for my lost brother, but Aether matters more, I guess. And we're looking for answers from the god, too. I guess we're gonna do both. You were separated from your family because of a god? Oh. I don't think it was one of the seven, though. Eh. Oh, the fact that these are the two answers. Sometimes it is or I'm slowly learning to cope. Oh, Lumine. You're breaking my heart, girl. I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. You know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma I have to travel eternity. throughout the Seven Nations. In other words, Can't a stay. State of tranquility where very little ever changes. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. What um, about Monster? Uh, let me put it this way. I like Monster. Just worried that you might. Although they won't make me a Instead full night of Favonius. You might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. So, <sighs> sometimes. Just how it is. I mean, that's why we have our teapot, so we're not completely exhausted. Even trying to have fun, you won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. What adventure friend was that? I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. 
worry, though. I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. Oh. And you're here now. So even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least leave with fond memories. <gasps> oh, else? the sunset the goes so well with Yoimiya. Azuma the right kind of place to call home. Hmm. Also depends on what my brother thinks. If we'd even stay in Tibet. I mean, maybe we wouldn't be able to leave Tibet. There's a chance. But it's already on the list of candidates anyway, so depends on what Aether thinks, I guess. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. Oh. Keep it a secret for now, though. Both golden fireworks. Yeah. That would be adorable. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Or one well, blue and one brown boat. or something. Oh, uh, I don't know. Did you I don't know keep fireworks. A little longer? We just finished, as it happens. Did we? <laughs> okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. Yeah, raise any suspicion it's as you build a bolt. It must be super sturdy, right? Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality is guaranteed. I hope so, or else you're literally putting a dude's life in danger? Confirm the ship's condition? Well, I mean, don't you trust him? Is that a different island? Oh, it is. Where is it? Wait a second. Oh. Here it is. I found it! Oh, I guess I'm going on the boat. Maybe small, but for one guy, I think it's perfect. I mean, it might get capsized by the waves and thunder and storm and all, but... It needs to be small so it avoids notice. It's technically sturdy, though. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still... I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning Ooh. to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. Oh, yeah. I'm also Considering that storm happy, is literally called the embodiment of A's will. Yeah. I gotta say, though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's inspection. Obviously. Let's store the boat here for now, then. Is there, like, a I'll law a where you can only make your boat so big or something? Or can you, like, never make boats at all? Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? She was already anyways when we broke the guy out of jail. I mean, we're already wanted anyways. We're wanted in almost every single nation we go to, whether it be we're wanted um to fight a dragon for people, we're wanted by the military by the geo-military, <laughs> or we're wanted by the electro-military. Yeah. We're wanted in every nation, whether it be good want or bad want. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's us, but I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them, and whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. It's worth all a collaborative effort. Wait. Uh, oh, oh no! Do we have to be the bad guys in Inazuma as well? See? They understand. We're wanted in every nation. We were chased by the Millilith in Leeway too, even though they technically ignored us afterwards. Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? <laughs> Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. 
While you're there, you can get my pups to settle the book. I don't know why, but I find Koichi oh, suspicious. Don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure to scold me if she third found sis. out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Who's third sis? Third sis. My oh, point. Uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant's guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, a dozen? learning their respective families' business. They were a tightly knit group of friends. But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. Oh. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to and see And one in the stayed future. here and called themselves That's third right. sis? Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest <gasps> of the group suggested that oh, we were should you all go one of them? watch some fireworks together one last time. <gasps> oh, yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. They were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. Oh, so he was! That, he hardly followed. That's adorable. But, whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. A celebration yeah. of sorts. No matter how close you and your friends are, there's always gonna be s some distance after being separated for a long time. Aww. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us so right back to our So you guys were like childhood, childhood friends then? And we'd be chatting away like in the old days. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh. Uh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on. I mean, you fireworks. can shoot fireworks just to shoot fireworks. Anyway, I mean, they're pretty. I, I don't room. like them, but they're See pretty. You, Thanks again for your help. Why do I find yeah, him so I suspicious? Get out of here too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. I don't know. I don't remember Yoimiya's story quest that okay, well. Story time. So, whenever Koichi brings one of his friends from the trade association to see me, he always mentioned how they used to play with me when I was a kid or held me when I was a baby or oh, something. That's adorable. But there are so many of them in that friendship group and I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, literally 12 so, uh, including I Koichi. Have a clue who they are. One time, he shows up with another one of his friends and the friend asks me if I remembered him. Oh no. So I'm like, yes, I do. You held me once when I was just a baby. <laughs> Koichi just bursts out laughing and says, actually, this is one of his carpenter friends. Turns out he's a lot younger than he looks. Just a few years older than me. Oh no. I went bright red and must have apologized like a million times. Well, I was so embarrassing. <laughs> well, I mean, if there's 12 of them, then that makes sense because... 12 including Koichi, 11 not including Koichi, that's, that'd be really confusing, because you can't remember people from, like, age 5 and down, probably. Knock on the window. Is he gone? Is that what's is gonna happen? Waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh... What? <sighs> After how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again. Especially when I'll be going up against Dragon's the Dragon's Spike and Celestia! Ah. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. It's either jail or Later, they are going to storm, find you I guess? And it's starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise, I won't cause you and your family any more trouble. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Tenryo Commission does that's catch adorable. up to you. They make a run for the boat. <gasps> I love the little okay. fishy thingy in her hair. Me. It's so cute. But... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Was there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. I thought it was just for the left. fireworks. But looking back on things now, I was really. Just I mean, maybe he should take some fireworks with him to mem I started to realize commemorate that, I got his time in Inazuma. I couldn't stop thinking about. The I mean, he's from Inazuma. Left behind. I think. So I. Yeah, from his name, ah, I think it. he is from what Inazuma. Does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, 
I found myself Do you have like a long now. list or something Wouldn't simple that we can do? We have to ask about it. Maybe we could If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? Yeah. Anyway, trying to abolish that, but uh, you know, I have to do your story quest first. You reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission. If only they weren't so overzealous, their moves go away. Oh, that's right. That elderless couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? And quite high up as well. What are you planning? Oh, Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. Yeah, right. is that true? You should get back indoors, Sakujiro. We'll be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go. Time waits for no one. Why do I feel like right. something's gonna go Hang wrong on. here? What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish. Just show me how to make fireworks. No, never mind. <gasps> I know. I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. Uh, she's writing the slips, right. and I can't I even read that. Because what he needs isn't an answer, just time. Is that all you're gonna say? This is the old couple. Hell, did he say what he needed? I don't know if I was just spacing out. I don't remember. <laughs> what did he want with this old couple? <gasps> Wait, was this his old village? You were here before. Can, you don't mind if I steal your lavender melons, do you? Nah, they don't mind. Right, who are you? Are you his parents? Well, grandparents? If it isn't Yoi Mia, come on in, dear. Parents, come I and think. Take a seat. Are these two right? your friends? Yes, they're travelers from afar. Outsiders have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma nowadays. Indeed, these are unprecedented times. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, but before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. And they ordered fireworks oh, too. Thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. Do you do fireworks First all across Tinazuma, or is you. it just Narukami Island? I wonder if I'll still It'd be, be around busy if it was all across Tinazuma. You will. Although I don't know why the Sangonomiya like samurai, samurai would want fireworks. <sighs> we aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even more things work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. Man, I wanted to do some weeding yesterday. But as soon as I bent, I mean, down it takes two hits started, per bush to get them down. I suddenly felt or that I could burn them any further. I wouldn't be what able to. But I don't feel like burning again. your wooden hay no worries. house. No more. We'll handle it. Also, it's not that necessarily smart to have a hay no, roof, no, even no. though it may be part be of tradition. May not home. be that smart because I'll if it rains, the then it could leak and through. We'll continue our conversation. Though I don't know that much about roofs and stuff. No, the first time. The fireworks show coming up. But once that's out of the way, I'll be sure to come by more often. Her eyes are almost the same color as the weeds. So pretty. You're such good kids. Oh, those flowers. For mine, he's all grown up now. Hasn't found anyone yet. And he doesn't visit very often. Oh, <gasps> was that if the guy we were sure talking to that I forgot his name then. of? I have some pickled radish here. Ugh. Would you mind delivering it to Satoru on the other side? Pickled of the stuff is disgusting. Sure. It won't take us a moment. Yeah, it literally oh, won't, because there's teleport waypoints. So, come on, let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first, and then... Why is that kid jumping? <laughs> Alright. Only well, takes two hits, though. In the wild, they do grow back. Is You don't want me to get rid of these ones? I don't know much about weeds. I don't own a garden or anything. 
I don't own any land for that matter. And that should just about do it. Sun Thunder was on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. Was this their son that they were talking about? I thought it was that guy that you and me was helping. Maybe not. Hey, Satoru. How have you been? Keeping well? Yeah, same as usual. Not much has changed. You're looking full of life, as always. All thanks to the support of our loyal customers. The family business just keeps getting better. Are better. you the son of those two people, or is that one guy? They were a real hit. I so don't understand. Like more business from over there in the future. That must mean a lot more work for you, though. Ooh. Are you sure you and Mr. Rinosuke can manage? If it gets too much, I don't forget, you can always ask me for help. Hmm? We should be fine. I think we can cope. It is very busy, though, Yoimiya. Oh, yeah. You could hire some, some help. Some pickled radish from Mrs. Imatani. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? Oh, I like but pickles, I but I don't Mrs. like Imatani's pickled stuff. stuff. And I couldn't get Ugh. enough of it. It's a family staple now. So I guess I haven't hey, tried pickled family? radish. What's everyone doing? Pickled everything They're just smells well. disgusting. We have the occasional heated argument, but I guess that's every family ever. Being close to family so they're your parents never then. getting to see them. Even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. That's what now, family Mr. always and does. Mr. and Mrs. Imatani seem to have a great relationship. But still, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Huh. <gasps> oh, maybe it is that one guy then. Used to it. Maybe you're just close with them. I should drop by more often in the future. I don't understand. Oh, don't so bored. oh I'm sure they'd love that. As would all of us in Kondo. You, Amy, you have so You're much to do, though. <laughs> Thank you. You're such a busy woman. Now that we finished all the chores, it's time to talk to the Imatanis about Sakajiro. <gasps> so it's... Sakajiro is the name of the guy? So Sakajiro is your son, then, right? The that guy we're helping. <sighs> Young people are so handy. Yeah, well, I'm kind of trying to be have quicker. Of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been 50 years this year. Of your anniversary? Oh, so it has. Goodness, how the time flies. You barely notice as the years go by, but then suddenly 50 years have passed. 50 years since what? Some important day? Like an anniversary? <laughs> well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over. Oh. Oh, stop trying to impress them. That's adorable. <laughs> we both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. Oh, that's well, adorable. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. We've been together ever since. Oh, so they have a relationship with the Naganahara fireworks. That's so cute. Congrats. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara's shop and ordered my firework. Oh. Even as it was rising up into the sky... Uh, I still had no Was it like a special firework say, that had text? But I don't understand how those fireworks the work. Sky lit up. I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Romantic, but sappy. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it. Oh. Well, she'd said yes. Obviously. Years. That's adorable. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. When you're a kid, but time seems to pass like together. really slow, but when you're an now adult, it just goes by instantly. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. Oh. Oh no, it's quite all right. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without it. Oh, so those were the fireworks Seeing you got. that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Even at this age, we still look back with not a single regret. I hope you don't mind, but how old are you? 70? 80? 
Enough about us, though. Yoimiya, aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. Was the guy your son? Tell us about mm, Sakujiro. Sakujiro. <gasps> so He's a son! That's huh? adorable. You know him? He was our boy's best friend oh. when they were young. Really? <sighs> they were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other, and, and went everywhere together. But one day, they had a terrible argument. And then they broke apart, and then he came back wanting to go to his to friend, and the then something like that? Like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all. I love the name Keisuke. Keisuke, whatever. You know what children are like. I like saying Ke they get terribly worked Keisuke. Up about these sorts of things. It's cool. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off, and that was that. Aww. I see. And then he came back Keisuke trying to apologize. To my wife about what happened the fight. to Keisuke? We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but... He didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. Oh no! He rarely comes home anymore. If it was anything oh, else, Oh no, I could and now they're on Keisuke. opposite sides and because sure Keisuke is in help. the military but and... Since it's Sakujiro, Sakujiro. I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. Is it fugitive? Oh no! <laughs> That's actually really sad. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Aww. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list. Fate is really cruel. No worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something for Sakujiro and Keisuke to resolve between themselves. Really? Yes. Oh, Aw, man. It would be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all that's these sad. years, they ought to let go of their grudges. Yes, but one's on a wanted list, one's trying to take the wanted. I'll let Sakajiro know after we get back. Oh. Wait, did Sakajiro know that his friend was in the Tenryo Commission? That's what it's called, right? I think. Is that why he said he shouldn't do his what he wanted to do in the first place? I don't know. Sakajiro, did you know that your friend is kind of in the military trying to hunt? Is that him on Yoimiya, the rock? Something bad's happened. Some people from the Tinryo uh -oh. Commission came by. That's huh? happened. Why? Do they know? Uh -oh. Are you alright? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. Smart. But they didn't listen. Oh. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. No, Kiske! Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tenryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. But where did oh, he go? I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Don't they need a warrant to get Just into people's went. houses? Or is that like a modern day Tenryo thing? Commission will definitely be chasing after him. I mean, Fontaine is the land of justice, so I feel like there would be court, so you'd need warrants to go into people's houses? Maybe they had a warrant. I don't know. Did you catch any of their names? Good point. Names. We need names. Suddenly showing up like this, surely it must be Case Case doing. Maybe. The commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. Really? I feel like they would. Sorry, my ears are no good, and I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. Where? I wish I'd caught their names. Oh. 
but I didn't hear a thing. Oh no! Happens, I did. I was getting some ore from my <gasps> friend's place. Oh, the guy that was helping us. I think their leader's name was Keske, just like you said. Oh no. Just as I thought. Thanks. Keske. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there will be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. Yeah. We can't let that happen. His Listen, friend arresting him. No. <gasps> Why does that have to be so sad? Oh, are we gonna have to fight some samurai? We are, aren't we? A kid? It's Matsuzaka and his friends. Let's ask them. Ah, uh, fine. I don't like Have you it. Idea? Are the weapons to scare away the great Lugina yokai ready yet? Something like that. Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. Why do you he say Mr. Ryunosuke? Isn't your like actual dad? Uh, Aren't you gonna play with us, Yoimiya? I'm sorry. Just to be professional for the kids? Do right I don't know. I'll be back later on. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy. The one you guys love. Yeah, hey, we're gonna get candy. Woohoo! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> candy! Woohoo! Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary looking men come by here at all? Perhaps yes, Simmer? We did. It Purple? Looks like they were chasing someone. No. Are they trying to catch a monster too? No. No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good Something kids and like stand up general, right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks. Maybe start. he went on the boat. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. If we stop the the, the Tenryo Commission now, we we're surely to get in trouble. Let's get going. I mean, it's unless it's Kisuke. I see. Mind. I guess I'll have to step in. Made up his Look, mind about what? There are people from the Tenryo Commission over there. It must be them. Ooh, it's not good. You're not Kisuke. Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Oh really? Sakujiro and Kisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Oh, I heard you all right. <gasps> what do you mean? I just don't care. <laughs> well, you've only got yourself to blame. Ooh. I think do I get to play as you I mean? Yes, yes, I do. I must withdraw. That's why I like Yoimiya, because you hold it long enough, and then there can be three arrows. Does it do the same thing with... No, okay. So this is just like that. She actually goes really fast. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Back off! Where's... Oh. Goldfish! goldfish! I don't know why she's all about goldfish, but maybe it's like her favorite animal or something. Nice. How dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? Oh no, I'm too scared. You will be punished for your actions. Oh yeah. Next stream, definitely. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world. And not even in Fontaine. Look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. <laughs> we can't waste any more time on these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. They're gonna be reporting us, but sure. I really hope he got to his boat already. Is this the this is the place? Oh, Kisuke! No! Oh, that's Kisuke. Kisuke. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. You know who he I is, never though? I'd fall into your hands. <gasps> no! Why? If this is to be my fate, I accept it. No, but... I have nothing else to say. He could die from the storm, so just... I mean, it's brutal to say this, but he could die from the storm, so just let him go anyways. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say, 
You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. No. The one who made this boat will also be punished. How could you figure out who could make the boat? It doesn't have to end like this. Don't you have anything else to say to one another? I mean, hey, he's part of the Tenryo you. Commission. He's a wanted fugitive. Even if the they were friends. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern you. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. But the past should be forgotten! You your life and live to get yourself I... back into Inazuma! Why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. Oh. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To work everything through. Yeah, but he went to... I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There was never any room for discussion. I... Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. Do you expect him to have important sword fighting skills? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Oh, wait, yeah, he did. To talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Yeah. Tuh. Don't tell me. Yourself. What would you know? Noemiya, 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 please! It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't believe it! I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything! Oh. Keisuke, you seem to like settling things with a duel. Ooh. So, let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. Ooh. If I win... Then you need to say <gasps> everything. Wait, in can your I head. battle? No more running from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakajiro. If I win, you will Wait, we have to fight exactly Sakajiro too? Came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. But you and Mia, you have a vision. Don't say anything now. You may never have another chance. You and me, please. And if you lose, then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakajiro and accept the Tenryo Commission punishment. No! Yoimiya. I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. Okay. Sir, we're here to back you up. Hey, that's not fair. Duels are supposed to be one on one. All right, that's it. Let's help you and He's going down you like butter. No, don't target them, Yoimiya. Target him. Dang it! I was trying to go through all of this without getting hit. Got hit once. Sir, they are too strong. We need more men. <laughs> stand down. <laughs> You're men what? behind you and you still lost. I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Ooh. Yes, sir. Sorry. Ooh, someone runs him. Young lady. <laughs> So was the trouble. just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? I thought I had to fight him, <laughs> too. Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then your parents told me about- <laughs> He ordered a firework from me, so I have to solve his emotional <laughs> problems. <laughs> I something special to you both. And that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? Oh, so he did the still order I fireworks. Is that <sighs> I felt lost. It wasn't that I'd changed my mind. I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I so the, the reason you guys won't talk to each other is because one measly of fight of when you were kids? The wisdom of Sumeru and the justice of Fontaine. Ooh. It all left a deep impression on me. I was glad so you've been to Fontaine? Mechanism. Not the fair. I happened to hear about the Sokoku decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. After all, 
You never ran away. Oh. Huh? <gasps> oh, that got me, him. But life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me and I couldn't ignore it any longer. It's your home. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed. Why? <laughs> I desired nothing more than to see her. I mean, die. again, she has her heart but in the now, right place, but not her mind. My role is to punish violators of the Sakoku decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo. Exactly. I do wonder. Am I really doing the right thing? You want to do the right thing, but you don't know if you're doing the right thing the currently. Is yours. Uh -huh. Oh. I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, w what will you say to the higher ups? Don't say worry nothing? about that. I'll handle it. Oh. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. <gasps> Kisuke. Until then, you'll have to wait. Would he still be and a wanted don't fugitive kick the or? On the way out. Don't worry, Keisuke. You won't. Oh. Any chance we can work? Yeah, the you're amazing. <gasps> Maybe next time. Oh. That is adorable. His boat departs in <sighs> silence. I'll be demoted for sure. Aww. It's not like me to give in to childish sentiment like this. I can't explain why I went through with it. It's not childish. It's being kind and. This may sound sappy, but true to yourself. That boat. It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. Ayasu Shitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Storage clause? Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. Huh? It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. There's a crab under there. I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really and nice. You're very people, persistent. I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but. <laughs> You live up to the family name. Oh. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Do you have the paper? Sorry, no can do. Without the slip for reference, I can't make the same one again. Oh. And I'm afraid Sakachiro is the one with the slip. No! Ah. Uh, Did I he see. leave with the slip? Never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? Ooh. I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakujiro probably won't be needing his anymore. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let <gasps> you set it off instead. Thank you very much. You are a goddess, no Yoimiya. And don't miss out on the start of the firework show. I actually really like your playstyle. Key scaling is. The way you took command of that whole situation was amazing. So what can I say? I like to talk. Yeah, clearly. I'm a believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. Oh. Sakujiro and Kisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. My boss will set off the fireworks that I wanted to give to you. It's right at the top of here where we were last time. Ironically, as I said before, this is the place where like a lot of fireworks, or not of fireworks, um, well, probably fireworks. A lot of celebrations happen. I could have died there. Whatever. Uh, got the top. This scene is actually really cute. Up here. 
Yo, hey, Mia, where are you? <laughs> you want me to go to this going spot? Yeah. And instantly it's night. <gasps> Look behind you. Huh? Oh. I'm pretty sure one of these is the oh. one from when they were kids. Or all of them, I don't know. I'm trying it's to look for a specific one. That one might have been from the one from the childhood. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh. <laughs> Shush, Paimon and Paimon understands it. It's so cute. So beautiful, I could weep. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just One guy cried. Misty-eyed, which is adorable. Once again, the Naganoharas live up to their name. Although I haven't seen the Naganohara fireworks until now. Well, technically, I saw it before on my other accounts, but I digress. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? Think so. Maybe but that's the one I had Pops make for you. Four of the gold ones. Oh, Paimon saw it. It was one of the best ones. They won't forget that anytime soon. I remember the last time I went to a fireworks show, I got ash in my eye, and I was hoping it I quite literally saw stars in my left no eye. At least. This journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always. It's probably not good for my eye that you, you know I got tonight. ash. I believe but that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper <gasps> slip. Ooh. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. Can I redeem it now? I want to see what it looks like. Thank you. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person. Oh, she did during the fireworks. Oh, I could hear you. I just have a habit. You could hear her. Only watching fireworks. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You ask me what fireworks mean to me, right? Fireworks are basically like her art. Yep. So it understands why she's so passionate about it. I mean, I'm an artist, so I understand that. Why did you say Kisuke that time? That was weird. Unwavering beliefs, right? Oh yeah, right, beliefs. As for me, uh... <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Really? Seriously? Huh? I was expecting something deep and philosophical. <laughs> Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up... I mean, yeah, you kind of can't control and who you're born to. I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. It's like a colorful bomb in the sky, basically. It's another kind of eternity. Not eternity? Also, I don't get it. This. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. Is it just if the Naganoharas? Exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often, but 
I'm proud that I was born into the Naginohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. Oh. That's adorable. Now, because I did this, I should be able to unlock the rest of the Archon quest, or as much as I can. Um, go to the Komori Tea House the following day. I will read that later. Um, can I redeem that now, actually? Where is it? Is it this? I don't think I can redeem it. I think it's just like a cute quest item, but... Um... Yeah, I did not expect that to take an extra hour and 15 minutes. Jesus, Genshin, why do you have to be so dramatic when it comes to the quest? <laughs> the other ones in the beginning of the game were not this long. They were 30 minutes max. Oh boy. So, next Genshin stream, I don't know when I'm going to stream it next. Maybe next week I'll do a whole nother, um... Maybe I'll do a whole nother week of just Genshin streams. Maybe I won't. I don't know for certain. But the next time I do stream Genshin, I am going to be, um, doing the Archon quest. Hopefully we can finally get to that. And once we get to that, it's going to be very close to the part that I am terrified about. And endgame players like myself might actually know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, or wherever you are in this crazy world. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!